Okay, looks like we're all recording. Welcome back, everybody. We're gonna be doing a little bit of Rune Factory tonight. Let's go ahead and have a little bit of fun. I believe last time I did a little bit of a request here, didn't I? Yeah, I can't do any more right now. But what I should do is try and get some stuff to increase the cooking skill a bit more. That would be helpful. So let's go ahead and hop in here. Hang on. Let me find my good weapon. The Snow Crown, that's what it was. Take out those woolies. But mainly I should go grab some apples. Hold up. Skill up. Need quite a lot of skill to get anything done. But more than anything, I need cooking skill, apparently. Hang on. Yeah, in order to do more events, I really need to get the cooking skill up, which is really silly. For some reason, the cooking skill just walls off so many things in the game. Hold up. I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some grass along the way. Don't really need that. That's fine. You very quickly realize you don't really need to do much farming in this game, either. I wanted to have dinner with the witch girl and her family, but I can't do that because I don't have the ability to make ketchup. Which has become a meme with this playthrough now. And then I need double the skill to make a simple omelet. Booking is serious business, apparently. Let's go down here. Maybe these beetles drop some stuff. Excellent. Nothing I can cook with that. Oh, hey. Oh, a turnip. I could just get random crops by resetting the map over and over, couldn't I? I think I can cook something with the mushrooms, but... Oh, buffamoos, hang on. They drop milk. Get out of here. The chest can just randomly give you the most ridiculous crap. Hold up. Sweet potato. I'll take that. That guy walked on the poison. He got poisoned. I'm mostly far along with Pia's requests as well. Doing her latest one is how I got this ridiculously good sword. I want some buffa moves to spawn, because milk could be good for helping farm the cooking skill. There we go. Anyways, hope you're all doing well. I thought we could just end the stream with a little bit of unwinding and farming. Of course, I probably won't upload an episode of this until I have, like, a lot of footage of it, but... That's the idea for farm games. Hold up. I can just pick up... No, not that. I'm trying to pick up this, crying out loud. Drop something, Mr. Onion. Onion seeds. No, I don't want to. I don't want to farm. The downside of this giant sword is like locking myself in place when I attack. Out of here, you. I'm probably getting some experience. Excellent. None of the girls will date me until I have the ability to cook better. Is that how it's going to be? Probably. Alright, this is good enough. Let's warp out. Is she here? No, she's not here. I could take a quick peek over here to see if there's any free items. It's been a while. I just have to hold down the button while I run through this. Nothing, nothing, nothing today. It would be good to go, to go get some fishing in as well. Okay, last I left this on. I always think it's crashing when I open up this menu. I've got some oranges. Cooking skill is at 20. I need it to be like 30-something for some stuff. Tomato juice. I need some more tomatoes for that. I need to save the tomatoes for making ketchup. Little chipmunks carry acorn. Yeah, they were. Little friends they are. Okay. Now let's cook all of those apples. Oh, I updated Mario Kart. You can tell I haven't turned my Switch on for a few days. Level 32 for the omelet? No, of course it is. Chat, why can't I catch up? Why can't I just make ketchup? I wonder if I should try making my own homemade ketchup now. Anyone ever try that? It would probably taste really weird, because I'm so used to the store-bought gross ones. Evening, Mika. Almost time to go to bed. Good evening. 
Bleh, sleepy. You always look like you're ready for a nap whenever I see you. It's because I get worked into the ground over at the general store. You spend most of your shift sleeping, though, because my mom owns the place. The other day I saw you using a pillow that looks exactly like the ones in the store shelves. Well, I mean, it's a general store. We sell them. <laughs> Hang on. We can get some fishing in. Should probably try and sell some stuff for some more pocket change. Hang on, can I get anything from Blaze, or is it too late? Yeah, it's too late. I didn't think about getting stuff from him today. I probably did before I ended last stream. Oh, hang on. Good evening, Mika. Good evening. Have you been in the forest yet? Seen the ruins, the wrecked pillars and stuff? Pretty tacky, right? They're so old and out of fashion. Anyway, got rid of a bunch of them to put my own works in the place. Uh, aren't those kind of, you know, valuable? Wow. Very. I'd given, I've given my own very priceless art to the forest as a gift. That's not what I meant. <sighs> Hang on. I need to give her a gift, because I haven't really given Daria anything for a little bit. Ooh, yellow grass. This will be just the thing for an art project I'm working on. Maybe we can unlock some more events with her. Come on. Crucian Carp. Excellent. These games can be so relaxing, can't they? There. Definitely the kind of thing that's fun to just turn on for a bit. Ooh, damn. Oh, hang on. You know, I don't really talk to you too much. Hang on. Hey, Mika. Evening. Good evening. I just realized the little bundles of hair on the side of her head, they almost look like a web ball. What even is that style? What would you call it? My birthday is on autumn 21st. My dad always cooks up a mountain of deliciousness. Sounds like you have a really nice relationship with your family, huh? Probably not with Russ. Um, remember when, like, um, Marion was trying to, like, e experiment on her, and he was like, ooh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab myself a snack and watch. <laughs> you think so? Now I'm feeling self-conscious. Whoopsie. Silly me for talking. Let's see. Oops, there we go. Farm games can be nice to replay after you have some time away from them, too, yeah. I was thinking of replaying a few of them on PlayStation just as something to do for a trophy grind. Like, um, the Mineral Town remake is on PlayStation now. It originally came out for PC and Switch. Let's see. Currently, I'm trying to grind the Platinum for Lies of P, though. Excellent. Come on. I took a little bit of a break from achievement hunting, but it's a fun thing to do on the side. Mm. I mostly play games on my own time on console because my PC after I stream is usually like like rendering stuff for the next for several hours and I can't play games on it. Plus, I don't like being in the same seat all day. Um, Is it sweet? Hang on. I could just cook these and sell the rest of them. The juice would be a quick way to make some extra money. Do that. Okay. Um... Mushrooms, I have nothing to do with that yet. I have a lot of excess iron. I'm not really working on the forging skill. I think I'm just gonna ditch a stack of that for now. Crystals for... For her. Yeah, that's right. Throw away this bronze for a second. I can easily get more of this. No big deal. Giant snail is kind of worthless. Got the bowl of rice. Okay, that's fine. And... Oops, I didn't mean to pick up weeds. Why would I get out the sickle for weeds when I can easily just pick up a stack of them and then just ship it for pocket change? It's much faster. You really don't need to do a lot of farming in this game at all. They made it a little bit better compared to other Rune Factory games, but for this one, really, you only need to farm for a little bit to get some starting money, and it's so much easier to make money in other ways. Cucumber seeds. I don't even need the seeds anymore, dude. I wonder if I should just sell them. Uh oh Okay, I can't care anymore. Pick up the orange grass. It helps that you can just hold down the button to carry stacks of the same stuff, for sure. Um, I should get some wood, but you know what? It's probably time for bed. What am I doing? What am I doing? Get in there. Maybe we can do some requests tomorrow. 
Who haven't I used in a thumbnail yet? I should focus on talking to her. We joke about Pia being the most popular in this game, but the, the episode with Pia in the thumbnail did exponentially better than the other ones. Runa doesn't really have that many great shots to use for a thumbnail. There's Daria and Colette. Let's see. Hang on, let me check my mailbox to start. Challenge is on. You have until 6 p.m. Stop reading and go. One more favor. Father, disciplinary. Oh, right, this one. I had to turn this down because he wants, like, a bunch of, like, ridiculous cooking stuff right away. Same with this one. If you please... Well... We could do this one. I don't remember if I tried this one yet. Hang on. Raven was in the thumbnail of the last one, yes. She awake? Probably not yet. Let me just get a quick fish in. Got a char? Come on now. Ah, damn it. Gets out of there quickly, doesn't it? Okay, they're moving around upstairs. Blaze is cooking up something. To talk to you. Ten more friends. Nice weather today. Good morning. The big catch contest is tomorrow. Hope I can reel in a big one. Gorgeous weather today. Morning. Morning. There you are. I hope you're ready to throw down. Is she challenging me to a fight? Ready to throw countless calories down my gullet, sure. Uh, what are we talking about here? Huh? Wait, is this not an eating contest? Bro, that's a little rude to assume, if you ask me. Uh... Hey, eating isn't the only thing I do, you know? I feel offended for Colette. That is pretty rude and insensitive. What, you think just because I walk around with a lollipop on my belt? or two lollipops in my, like, apron po pocket that all I think about is food? How dare you? How dare you, sir? Eating isn't the only thing I do. This is a cooking competition. Whoever makes the most delicious dish is the winter winner. I'm going to lose this. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah, makes sense now. Just so you know, coming from you and all, I figured we'd be gorging ourselves silly. Bro! <laughs> Bro, I... Stop, t stop saying things. Excuse me? Nothing. Never mind. So anyway, what should I be making anyway? Y y fellas, never talk to a lady like this. Never. Hm, I'll let that slide. Anyway, our dish will be onigiri. Onigiri, huh? Now I can show you my true power. Chat, look, Google how to make onigiri in this game. I should be high enough level to do it. I can show you my true power. Go ahead and bring me yours when it's ready for sampling. Wait, you're gonna be the judge? Don't worry, I promise to be fair and impartial. I don't know if I'm on board with that idea, but fine, I guess. Well then. Onigiri it is. Perfect weather today. Welcome. Um, let's buy some recipes. Let's keep buying cooking bread. Cooking level six, you just need rice. Oh, sick, I already have some of that in my inventory. This is the main thing we need. I don't really need other equipment. He throws it on the floor and he'll eat up. Well, love kitchen. All right, let's eat. I learned how to make skipjack sashimi. I learned how to make hot chocolate. <gasps> I learned how to make the fabled hot cocoa. Now I too can be cozy this winter inside while it storms. I learned how to make salted masu trout. All you need this winter chat, hot cocoa, hot cocoa, and a teddy ursa. Peak comfiness. Also, make sure you listen to one of my streams. Although I'm, I can't be exactly fair and impartial like Colette, because I gained a benefit from you watching my streams. Lobster sashimi. I learned how to make corn on the cob. I learned how to make ketchup. Oh, look at that. I learned how to make ketchup, huh? Hmm? Maybe I can finally catch up. But I'm not high enough level. Or I'm just high enough level, I think, but we don't need to deal with that right now. Hello, Pia. 
The sun is shining. The fishies are happy. The big catch contest. No one knows how to treat the fishies right. I'm begging you to provide context just once in your life. Alrighty. Okay, I have some rice. Let's get cooking. Uh, what was I making again? Onigiri and... What? What thing do I need? Should it be a sim- I think it's simple, right? Oh, Onigiri right there. What is that little jingle? Damn it. All I made was this jelly donut. How am I supposed to give this Colette now? Now where's she at? Still in here. She's not upstairs anymore. I didn't see her on the map, did I? Oh, she's by the beach. Karina's on top of her. Wait. Where are they at? Oh, there they are. Hang on. Brought you your food. Talk to them first. Nice weather today. Perfect for a nap. Good morning. Good morning. Tomorrow? Oh, yeah. It's a uh, festival, I think. Well, kick thi we'll kick things off with Onigiri. Now I can show you my true power. Okay, then. Hang on. Let me just interrupt your day at the beach here with my Onigiri. This was just a ploy to get me to bring her beach snacks. Hold up. Huh? The what now? You know, for the cooking competition. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, of course! I was wondering when you'd show up. Let's jump right to the taste test. Uh, where's yours? Oh, details, details. We'll start with yours. Uh, okay. Chomp, munch, Ah, huh? This texture, this taste. How did you pull off such a culinary miracle? I had no idea you were this good at cooking, Mika. <laughs> Thanks. So where's yours, Colette? Uh, uh, right, mine is mine is nowhere near as good as this, so why even bother comparing? You win. Huh? Are you sure? We won't know until we try, and... I said it's fine. I lose, you win. Yay. Here, take this and stop talking. <laughs> um, thanks? I've got some more work to do, so I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, that was close. <laughs> Sorry, Mika, I forgot all about it. She forgot? Wow, that's rude. I thought she, this was just a ploy for me to bring her food. Strawberry seeds. Okay. It's the big catch tomorrow, and I can hardly wait. Good morning. Good morning. Well then. I feel like I should just be selling the seeds now. How much do they go for? Barely any money, but, like, I'm not even going to take the time to grow them. Like, there's no point. They're so easy to get, and they're just, like, a slow way to earn money. They're just basically there because of, like, the premise of the game at this point. <laughs> the game doesn't nudge you to do this nearly enough. Um, I should just empty my inventory by ditching these for sure, yeah. It's nothing. Lend me a hand. Helper wanted. No, I can't cook. Okay, let's talk to Sophia then. We're running out of events because I have to advance the story and increase my cooking skill. And also, like, my relationship with people. Talking to people during festivals helps a lot, though. Hold up, where's she at? Not there. So maybe inside her house. Ah, you're beautiful! Gorgeous, magnificent. You're as elegant and dignified as a single perfect rose. Oh, what a lovely compliment. It's so charming. It's giving me goosebumps. Uh-oh. Oh, happy day to think you'd be so pleased by my humble praise. Bro, what kind of traveler just goes into people's houses and starts, like, hitting on them? That's creepy. JRPG or not, don't do that. You must love me as I... Oh, God, he, he heard a single compliment? And he's taking it as a decoration, decoration as love. He, he, this dude is like pre-internet, like, um, loser. You must love me as I love you. I'm sure of it. Like I told you, I adore you. Can't you understand? Oh, would you come closer? Uh-oh. Gladly, my beloved. Oh. Yeek. Uh-oh. 
Here we go again. Oh, hey, Karina. Did you see the message board, too? Yeah. Sorta. Can I go home now? Somebody. Hold on. Let's save that for after we rescue Sophia. Excuse me, sir. Hmm? And who might you be? Uh, I'm Sophia's friend. See, she has this habit of saying the exact opposite of what she means. Can we call it a habit or a curse? Haha, uh, what? You can't be serious. No one would ever do something that stupid. This is clearly a transparent excuse to break up our happy union, but I refuse to let anyone destroy my dream. Oh my god, this dude is just... This dude is just... Ugh. This is the type of guy you gotta keep... This is where you bring out the bear spray. I promised myself long ago I'd get a normal job, make average pay, then someday build it. Bro, what? <laughs> what? I promised myself long ago I'd get a normal job, make average pay, then someday build a nuclear family with a wonderful, beautiful woman like her as my wife. Oh my god, it hurts that I know exactly what they're trying to say, but they didn't want to put the exact terms in the dialogue. Mmm. <laughs> Points for realism, I guess. The chat is just filled with ews right now. Of course. Pragmatism is best, I say. In fact, every time I leave on my travels, I have to have at least one first aid kit on hand at all times. Ah, so he has a glass heart then. Sophia's a rich girl, though. That's perfectly acceptable. In fact, I find it highly agreeable. Better to have money than not, after all. Hmm. Honest, isn't he? Oh, you are seriously the best. Look at that look. Have we seen her give that, like, facial portrait before? I don't think I've seen that look on her face. I knew you'd have faith in me, my darling. Oh, my god. Didn't you hear me? Come closer to me. What joy, lady! I'm so happy we can live together and have, like, the bestest relationship ever, and now no one at the Dungeons and da Dragons night will call me a dork anymore? Yeah! This is what those of us in the industry call a vicious cycle. Mika, shut up. There isn't a laugh track waiting to play. That girl needs your help. And is it me, or are her opposites getting worse and worse? She gets like that when she's stressed. She's even flipping verbs now, not just adjectives. She must really hate this. I'm joking, I'm joking. D&D's cool. I'm just making a generic example. Kind of obvious from looking at her, but yes, not very obvious to this gentleman down here. Uh, I guess I'd better step in, though it would have been fun to watch a bit longer. How about this, sir? Sophia will pick an item. You go and get it. Hmm? To what end? Mika will go get one, too. Both of you will bring what you think she asked for. Then she'll point out the one she really wanted. How's that? Why am I being volunteered? You okay with that, Sophia? No. Good. Wait. She clearly denied this whole deal. Oh, so now you understand what the word no means. Hmm? How convenient for you, Mr. Traveler. Bring me an apple that doesn't grow in Prevera Forest. Damn it, I just juiced all those. What's that you said, Mr. Traveler? Nothing. Nothing. Seems I was imagining things. Don't you worry, my sweet. I'll bring, what, bring you what your heart desires as swiftly as the wind. He doesn't give up easily, does he? Shouldn't you be going, Mika? Yeah, uh, right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go to the forest and get an apple. Hey, Colette, what's up? Hey, Carmen, what's up? Hang on, it's down over here. I require apple. I can juice the extras. Over here. Some of the events in this game are just kind of wild. If, I feel like every time I start playing Rune Factory 3 for a day, we get some wacky, wacky little situation like this. 
Well, wha wacky from our perspective, more like terrifying. There you go. Hold up a second. Here, Sophia, I brought what you asked for. Hold it. You cannot fool me. That apple you hold, that came from Prevera Forest. Well, yeah. That's pretty much the only place around here you can find apples. But Sophia clearly said she wanted an apple that did not come from, from Prevera Forest. You're disqualified. <laughs> Ratioed. You will be deleted from this form at once. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but... Looks like Mika wins. Duh. What? Impossible. All he has is an average apple. I tried to tell you earlier, Sophia says the opposite of what she means. What she really wanted was an apple that you can find in Prevera Forest. What? What? No! No! This is too confusing! I can't make sense of it! Farewell. Whoa, he just like, zooped off the screen. And there he goes. Bye, Bozo. Didn't like him in the first place. You okay? You okay, Sophia? Uh, uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. It didn't bother me, but still. Thanks. More importantly, thanks for your help. Here, let me give you a little something. I'll be sure never to come to you again. I'll be sure to never come to you again. Sure thing. Ah. Uh, uh, uh oh, that one was probably. I'll see you later then. Ah! No. That wasn't nice. <laughs> oh, somebody's happy. Request complete. Okay. Amethyst ring. Okay. What's special about this? Eh, that's a pretty basic accessory. Oh boy. That traveler's gonna go write a long rant on Reddit now. Why won't girls like me? All they do is say the opposite of what they mean? This is so unfair to me. What about what I want? I deserve this. I deserve everything. Oh boy. This weather couldn't stand to make up its mind, really. Hello. Tomorrow's not a festival for eating fish. I don't think it is. Wait, what? Okay. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Mika. It feels like it might rain at any minute, doesn't it? Hello. Are you prepared for tomorrow's big catch? Father is already bouncing in excitement for it. I'll give it my best as well, if just to collect more materials. Oh, boy. Excellent. There's her again. Oh, hey, you. Hey there. Hello there, Mika. New and already, huh? Hello. Hello. The next fishing festival is coming up tomorrow. This time, we compete to land the biggest whopper. I can't wait. As my master's pupil, I hope to catch something big, too. Whether or not I will, well, I guess we'll see. Hmm. What, not feeling confident? Come on, you're my pupil. Have more faith in yourself. No, oh, but don't expect me to go easy on you, because guess what? I won't. Show me your fishing finesse. Oh, I talk to you? Big catch tomorrow? Yeah, same thing. Hmm. Could just catch some more fish and then just go cook it all. Welcome. Ah, there we go. Gimme. <clears throat> Come on. Oopsie. As soon as I pulled it out, one spawned in. Should I just go ahead and sell that one squid I got? Because it sells for a ridiculous amount. I can give the sashimi to um, Sakia and Carmen, too. That's right. Sakia's whole personality just seems to be greedy. I like her design, but I, I feel like I should do some more events with her and see what happens. What other hijinks we can get up to? Excellent. Oops. I slipped and hit the button. Let me just catch one more fish. Hang on. Let me get some water. 
I was talking during that scene when the hydrate was redeemed. Nice shrimp. Let's do some cooking. I could have just warped in, but whatever. Hmm. Knife? Sardine sashimi. I can also sell the extra sashimi as well. All right, cooking level 21. We're getting there. This stuff is like level 15, 17, so it will give me more um, cooking experience by doing it. I wish I could see the EXP bar for it, though. Anything I can make here? Grilled... Ooh, okay, I could go for this. It's not a perfect success rate. Salted chub. Well, I can't think of a joke I can make out of that one. Let's go with this. Hey. Yeah, if you cook something that's above your skill level, it's not a perfect chance, but you get more experience for doing it if it's successful. Damn it. I'm gonna go for it. The failures can be given to Sophia. Oh, nice. Yeah, see, I went right to level 22. Now it's 50%. You have to... You basically level up faster by staying, like, aiming above your skill level, which is more realistic, I guess, but... It's to avoid the, um... It's to avoid crafting a thousand leather belts, like in Skyrim, and then you just make it the ultimate greatsword. At least I hear that's how it is. I've never really played Skyrim. I just know that was like a meme for a while. Anything else I can make? Hot chocolate? Wait, all I need to do is make chocolate hot, and I can make it. Ooh. Be careful not to get cavities. Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. Hot cocoa. Excellent. Cocoa has been made. Probably just sell it. How much does it sell for? Let's see. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, let's go give out the sashimi. Hang on, was that? Oh, it was you. I don't want to talk to no boring old man. Okay. Appreciate it. Hi there. Hi there, Mika. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to Sakia Souvenirs. If you've got the cash, we got the stash. I'm here to chat. Looks like the big catch is almost here. It's great getting to catch a bunch of fish, but the real battle starts afterwards. Welcome. What do you got? Welcome. She just has, like, nothing. Mmm. Sure Let's give her these two some sashi sashimi. You brought me sashimi? You have no idea how happy you made me. Fish are food, not friends, baby. Thanks. You're a peach, Mika. Imagine, like, Pia comes home, and then she just sees these two gathered around sashimi, and they're like, uh... We were hungry. <laughs> Do you want some? Oh my, you're giving this to me? Yes, please don't stab me. Thank you very much. What an exceptionally kind gesture. Thank you so much. Oh, but... Chino, is something wrong? Sashimi is actually one of my favorite foods. Just keep it a secret from Pia, all right? Good day. The big catch is tomorrow. It's a day early, but do you want to review the rules? Sure. These are the rules for big catch. The festival is a contest to see who can catch the biggest fish within the time limit. The award ceremony will be from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Talk to me somewhere in that time to check in for the ceremony. Don't be late. If you are, I'll have to disqualify you. That is all. If you want to review the rules again, feel free to ask me. Okay, so I should make sure I have inventory space then tomorrow. The traveler's there. Sophia in the bath there. Hang on. That's their room. The big catch contest. No one knows how to treat the fishies right. Okay, same deal. Hmm. Who else do I give sashimi to? Hi, Mika. Hello. Why do we have something dumb like the big catch contest anyway? You should try fishing sometime, Monica. It's actually pretty fun. Fishies are icky, so no. 
Well, at least she's not trying to bite me anymore. But, ugh. Chad, if I ever have to play as a Rose Prince again, someone just take me out because I'm doing it. I must be like doing it against my will. I must be like possessed by some evil spirit. Hang on, I should have a mistake in here, right? Yeah, failed dish. Oh, now this looks incredibly useful. I dislike things of this sort. If you ever have any more to spare, I'll gladly take them off your hands. Okay. We could check out the monster board right quick. Oh, right. Meh. I love the little sheep sounds. Hello. Hello. In this world, there are four ancient deities known as the native dragons. Terrible. That's a terrible name. Dragon god of earth. Aqua... Uh, Aquaticus, dr uh, Dragon God of Water. Fearsome, or Firesome, God of Fire, and Ventuswill, Dragon God of Wind. Th these all sound like they were named by an eight-year-old. Hmm. The land of Norad has existed under their divine influence since the immemorial. Ah, yes, it is I, Ventuswill, Dragon Guard of the Wind. I have like 10,000 attack points, and my hurricane destroys all of your goblins. I am invincible. You cannot defeat me. Risky request. Recruiting a capable fighter. Hmm. Try this. What are these two like? I don't know what to give them. Yo, Mika. How's it going, bootleg Link? Not all dwarves are exactly alike, but I bet you knew that already. I figured as much, but do you have any specific examples? Well, everyone in my clan has silver eyes. Kind of hard to notice at a glance, though. You've come in regards to my request, right? Thank you. Do you recall the cactus in which you retrieved a flower before? Yeah. I'd like for you to go back to it and give it some Formula A. Is that all? Sounds easy. Thank you. I'd be in your debt. Here, please take this with you. Oof. Only one I can give you. Be, please be sure you don't lose it. I'm gonna do a quick little stretch here. I'm really slouching a bit today, sorry. Hmm. Trying to take much better care of my back, because I've just have been too, like, loose with it, even though I keep saying I'm being better. I will. We plucked the flower that it spent precious energy making bloom. This is the least we can do for it in return. Fair enough. We did just kind of take it, didn't we? Oh, please make sure the Elder doesn't hear about this. Should she find out, she'll be upset with me. I gotcha. Okay. Me. Hang on, let me get my sword out. Gotcha, boyo. I think I remember where it is. Get some extra EXP by whacking things. I really should try- oh, jeez, this thing. Dude, it's giant. Hang on. It's not here. Yeah, it's here. Okay, then. I'm not doing much damage to it because the element of the sword. Hang on. There we go. Let me go ahead and put... Oops. Gotta use the D-pad for that. Just get rid of them. This is the cactus I'm supposed to give the formula A to. Aragon. Where'd it go? Uh... Is it not here? Is it in tools or what? No, it is. There, that ought to do it. Whoa, the heck? Yeesh, what a weird cactus. Anyway, I did the request I uh, asked for. I should go back to Ondoras. Meh. Giant's glove. Meh. Oops, I gotta be sheep. Ah, 
Hi, Ondoris. I tended to the cactus, just like you asked. As soon as I gave it the Formula A, it popped out another flower, just like that. Ooh, did it. Fascinating. I'll have to look more deeply into that when I have the chance. But for now, I thank you for your assistance. This isn't much, but please take it as a recomp- uh, recomp- recomp- Recompense. Talk, jeez. Thank you. Mighty kind of you. If something else comes up, I'll be sure to ask you for your help. Request complete. Lightning wand. I'm not a magic player. I could sell it for a chunk of money there. It's got some good magic attack, but I don't like playing wands in these games. Not that I've really given it a chance, but I'm good. Hang on, I could sell these extra boots. I've been putting that off. Okay. Let's go ahead and sell some stuff right quick. Yeah, let's sell the remaining cooked food. Get some pocket money back. This will give me some inventory space for tomorrow as well. Drink some apple juice. Cooking is a great way to get money once you get going with this as well. Hold up. I don't know if I need the sun squid for any particular recipe. I don't know if I should save it. Sweet potatoes are cooked things. We don't need that. Yeah, I'll sell this stuff. Maybe get rid of the seeds as well, because I'm never going to grow them. The amethyst ring. Don't need that. I really just have money sitting in my inventory for stuff I'm never going to grow. I've just kind of picked it up. I think strawberry seeds might actually be rare, so maybe I should put those away. Okay, that should be enough of that. Let's go, go, go. Are you here? Never know where the hell she is. Oh, she's up there, apparently. Yeah, give me some of that. Ah, yellow grass. This will be just the thing in an art project I'm working on. Thanks. Good evening, Mika. Good evening. Good evening. Tomorrow is the big catch contest. Your mission to secure us the ultimate fishing hole. Uh, no, that wouldn't be fair, Daria. You think she understands what's fair? I don't think Honestly. so. How much inventory space did I open up? I still have some sashimi. Oh, I should have plenty of space. But I should really put away the platinum and stuff, too. Let's do some of that. I'm sorry, I missed that earlier. What eight-year-old knows what Ventus means? Um, King is a one that plays Kingdom Hearts, I think. I don't know. I think there's a character named Ventus in that game, right? I, I, I don't know. Strawberry seeds. Okay. This is my last space for this. Hot cocoa. You drink that. Platinum can go in here. How much space do I have? Hang on, I have an extra heart crystal. Wish I could auto-sort that more easily. I've not played the Kingdom Hearts games. Well, that's not true. I played 358 over two days as a kid. It was the only one I had, and I liked it. I, like, 100%ed it, all the side missions and everything. I had no idea what the hell was going on the entire game, though. From what I understand, that's pretty common, though. I know that apparently that game is, uh, it very much expects you to have played the other ones. So, I was in the best spot for that, clearly. I'm gonna sell these. I have them on PlayStation now. I was gonna eventually play them for trophies. I kind of like catching up on games by doing a trophy grind, because it kind of forces me to go for extra stuff instead of just, like, playing the main story and then moving on. Sell some cocoa. will get us some extra things. Stretch and do a health check. Heck yeah. Health is good. We love health on this channel. I guess I could chop some wood. Chopping wood's a little bit crusty in this game, though. How time-consuming it is. You have to manually bring it to the shipping... or to the, the woodshed. Okay. 
Tomorrow's the big catch contest. Oh. Oh, they're despawning. I didn't realize they do that. Is it because too many items are, are popping in? Probably. Let's do it. Okay, let's put this here. Get the orange grass, maybe. I've enjoyed this game a lot. I feel like they put a lot of work into the events and stuff, but I feel like I'm running through them so fast. I'm like, I'm burning through the game's content more quickly than I expected. We still have, like, the newlywed mode stuff that, that's new to this, at least. Oh, let me go ahead and sell the seeds. Hang on. Grab some extra money by tossing in random colored grass. Nice. Chop some more wood. I need some extra wood to build stuff later, I know that. So I figured I'd just grab some. This'll do. Yeah, let's go to bed and make a save. Get my fishing rod set up as well. I only have the beginner's pole still. I haven't really... You don't really need to upgrade your tools too much, it feels. Make an entry in the diary. Rune Factory 3 is super short. Yeah, I've heard that. Honestly, though, I like the I like the fact that they make it short and sweet instead of, like, uh, 2 dragged on way too much. You guys know this, but I stopped playing 2 because the second half was abysmally tedious and boring. 1 is, like... Someone said this to me the other day, but the problem with Rune Factory 1 is that, like, they were still figuring out what to do in it that... Rune Factory 1 feels like a bootleg compared to the rest of the series. Because it feels like there's just so much missing. It's got, like, the character designs and setting and everything, but there's just nothing to really do with it. You can max out everyone's, like, affection and friendship, like, trivially in, like, the first month if you really wanted to. Okay, we're going fishing now. Good morning! Good morning. Today's the big catch. Registration will be held in the plaza at 9 a.m. A little early. Double check. Just bring the biggest fish you can find. That's the main thing, and bring it by five. Okay. Well, tiny ones aren't going to give me what I want. But we got to fish something. Damn it, I hit the thing. All right, then let's reset the map. Alternatively, I could just go into the autumn place. Didn't that have some stuff? A little fishing spot? There we go, I see it. I got squid. 60 centimeters, okay. Everyone keep track of this with me. Be good teddies and write it down in your notebooks. Come on. Come on. 68. Okay, that one's good. Come on. This music sounds very Final Fantasy Seven. God damn it. Come on. Oh, that's a huge one over there, but I'm not going to be able to get it my current fishing rod. Damn it. Unless I, like, get it, like, the, the frame, it grabs it. Come on. Damn it. I yolo yoloed it. Come on. Come on. 92 mackerel. That's pretty good. Hang on, we'll go register after this. Ah, oh, damn it. I winced. Let's go register. Hello, you two. I should talk to the townsfolk as well to get the festival affection. Good morning. These are the rules for the big catch contest. Who can catch the biggest fish in the time limit? The award ceremony will be from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Talk to me somewhere in that time. And don't be late if you are after disqualify. You want to participate? Yes. Excellent. I have you registered. 
The warrant ceremony is at 5 to 6 p.m. Talk to me somewhere during that time. Okay, so just bring a big fish by that point. Oh, hey, been a while. How you doing? Oh, have I not been talking to him? I haven't been talking to him. Thanks for giving us up there. Morning. Good morning. It's really easy for me to lose track of time when I'm at my forge. When I'm fishing, though, it's like the clock's ticking in slow motion. Hello there, Sprout. It's been some time, hmm? Though I suppose a clinic is something one would rather not see on a regular basis. Gorgeous weather today. Ah, watch where you're swinging that, Mary. Where's the fun in playing safe? Live a little. You definitely have a screw loose. Nice day out. I bet a quick shot would make it better. Huh. Parry. Spin. What are you doing, Mary? What's it look like? I'm practicing fishing. Now for the Coupe de Grasse. Hoke. Those are words I never want to hear again. You actually say it as Coupe de Grasse or Coupe de Gras? I don't remember. Good morning, Mika. Good morning. Harlow sure does make this look easy, doesn't he? My, what intemperate weather we're having today. Hello? Hmm, if Chef comes along and fillets them as they come out of the water, then... Yeah, you're definitely not winning like that. Nothing to submit to the judges. Say it like Coupe de Gras. Okay. What does that actually mean? What's the literal meaning of that? Come on. 60 mackerel. Come on. Damn it, I panicked. Both the same as the six. Oh, wait, does it not caught? It doesn't count the ones I caught before. Ah, oh, damn it, that's annoying. Damn it. Come on. Fish. Yang, I panicked. Panicking forever now. Get your butt over here. A boot! I don't want a boot. I'm gonna run out of time at this rate. Oh, there's a huge one again. Damn it! I tried to go preemptively hit it. Only had a better fishing rod. I might have a real chance of getting the giant ones. Oh, I keep panicking now, and I pull it in way too early. Multiple times in a row. Come on. <sighs> Come on! Now I got nerves. Come on. 72, a new record. Come on. I guess I just fish as much as I can and bring the largest one in. Hmm. Dang it. Come on. Dude. They're taking so long to actually bite now, and it's given me nerves. I'm scared to talk. Ah! I did it again! Oh, that giant one was a boot! <laughs> no, you don't really need to farm in this game. I farmed a little bit at first, but I quickly realized you can make more money doing other stuff. Honestly, just selling all the excess stuff I'm making for cooking to raise the skill is making me more money. Oh, damn. That one was right away. Squid. Dang. The 90-something one I caught won't count. It has to be within the time limit. So before registration, it didn't count at all. Come on, I know I can get something huge here. Dude. Bite right away. 
fight. I can. Every time I finally get, like, the actual large shadows, it turns out to be garbage. The world's largest can. Looks like I'm gonna run out of time soon. At least I'm gonna have fish on hand to sell. Come on. Let's go. Oh! There we go. There we go. 96. That one's pretty respectable. Okay, it keeps track of my high score. Sixty. I should look into increasing my fishing pole again, but I'm mostly focused on the cooking skill. Eh. Hey, looks like I got one more chance at a fish, and then we're heading back. Come on. Oh? One hundred salmon. Okay. Yeah, that's that's about as good as it's gonna get at this time uh, this time frame. Hey. hey there, Mika. Yeah. Fishing can be fun every now and then. Ooh, it does make me sleepy though. Make sure we talk to everyone in town too while we wait. Hello. Ah, not a cloud in the sky. Hello. Hello. I'm going to catch the biggest fish this town has ever laid eyes on. But I have to ask, how exactly does one go about fishing? Nice weather today. Perfect for a nap. Hello. Hello. Oh, I wonder if this thing floats. Hello, Hello Mika. Hello. Hello. I'll at least beat the bad mouther. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Good night, Mika. Hello. Hello. That's it. I'm going to catch the tiniest fish. Award ceremony at 5 p.m. Okay. Everyone's showing up. Hello there, Mika. Hello. If we do manage to land a particularly large catch, I'm always sure to make Pia something else to eat. Sounds like a lot of work. Yes. Perhaps, but Pia does really consider fish to be special. She would never dream of eating them. Hi there, Hi there Mika. Hello. Hello. Hey, Mika. Do you like sashimi? Uh, sure. I love making it. Did you say something, Mika? Nope, he didn't say anything at all. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. I'm counting on you to bring me the good stuff. Bring me the good stuff, you see? Can't, can't eat it up. Can't have it out in the open. Make sure you just slide it to me under the table. You know what I'm saying? Give a little something in return. Make sure you bring exactly enough we agreed on. Um, okay. The sun is shining and the fishies are happy about it too. It sounds like Sakia finally learned the proper way to treat fishies. She told me she went to go ask an expert at Blaze's place. I, uh, see. Okay, then. <laughs> there you are. Good, let's begin the award ceremony. The results are in. The winner of this year's Big Catch Contest is... Mika, who landed and measured a whopping 100 centimeters. Well, don't mean to brag. Thank you. Thank you. Karina took second. Bro, I already had first place <laughs> early on. Okay. And then we had Marjorie in third place with 35 centimeters. Wow. I absolutely killed it. That was a great effort today, everyone. Be sure to keep practicing for next time. Don't forget to take your prize home with you until next time. Cooking bread. Hell yeah. I learned how to make chocolate cookies. I learned how to make salted pike. I learned how to make manju. I learned how to make flan. I learned how to make cabbage cakes. Eh, that doesn't sound that great. I learned how to make stir-fried veggies. I learned how to make salted thymen. I learned how to make salted rainbow trout. Learned how to make flounder sashimi. 
That was a fine victory. Well then, that was great. Well, hello there. Today's the perfect weather for a midday nap. Well done today. I'm glad you didn't find yourself dangling from someone else's line. You and me both. Everyone can congratulate me. You're a natural. Congrats on the win. Let's go talk to everybody. Get out of the way, traveler. Congratulations on the well-deserved victory, Mika. I would imagine trying to eat a fish that size by yourself would be impossible. Hey, I'm still young. I can manage. What was that? Oh, uh, nothing. Bro, you don't, you don't say that to a lady like that. Now that's just rude. Oh, she went back there. Okay, that's what that was. What are cabbage cakes exactly? They don't sound that appetizing to me. Appreciate it. Good on ya. Nice, congrats on winning. I wouldn't be go bragging about it to Pia if I were you, though. She'll definitely get on your case. Oh, hey, you're right. Let's talk to her. Mika. I heard you won today. That I did. I just got lucky. All thanks, all thanks to my mad skills. What is this, like, the early 2000? Wait, no. 2009. What am I saying? Of course it is. Then I guess I can't hold it against you. Okay. I don't think she's happy with me. But it's festival dialogue, so it probably increases my uh, friendship anyway. That, how wretched, Mika. Tell me, how do you plan to cook all those fish? All night long. Good evening. Good evening, Mika. That was an incredible catch, Mika. For my part, I managed to collect enough scales for my catches that I'm satisfied with enough or today, regardless of my placements. Fishing is still fishing. Okay. How did Carlos and Carmen not even place? Evening. Evening, brother. It's getting awful dark out, yeah? How did you win? I don't get it. If you won, that means I lost, and that just doesn't make any sense. Bro, you didn't even get third place. It's not over yet. There'll be more festivals, and that's... That's it. The next one is mine. I will win the rematch, and don't you forget it. Evening, evening Mika. Good evening. Good evening. What? Huh? Hold on. Something's wrong here. How could both me and Carlos lose? I can't believe it. But this year ain't over yet. This ain't the only fishing festival in town, and I will have my revenge. They didn't even place, though. Did they even enter? Question that. Well, fine, I guess I was easily outdone, but if I had to lose, I'm proud you you were the winner, sidekick. Come here, you. Oof. Ow, do you need to smack my back that hard? I think she's a little upset. She's holding a hammer. That's not safe. Did I do both quests today? Oh, I didn't do any quests today. That's right. Hold up. I should go do that now. Let's go to the mailbox first. I totally forgot to check these. I'm quick. One more favor. There's something I need to say. Daria needs a sidekick. Hang on, I know you all want me to do the Raven one. Let me save in case it's time sensitive. Yeah, let me do a little stretch. Sorry, it's really chilly today. I just want a little stuffy. A little stuffy, so let me just get some of that. Okay. Okay, Raven, where are you at? We're gonna go have a chat and see what's up. Huh? I guess she's out? Maybe I'll ask Gaius. Hey, uh, Gaius? Gaius? Uh, what? Oh, hey, Mika. What's up? No, oh, pardon me. Nothing much. I dropped by to see Raven, but... Raven? Isn't she around? Nope. Well, it's not like her to up and disappear is all... Wait, it's not like her up and disappearing is all that unusual. Did something happen? I don't know. She has been acting a little off lately. 
Really? I bet it started when we were in that dungeon, so it's been a problem for her this entire time. Maybe Sophia or Karina would know more. Good call, I'll check with them. Would ya? Thanks. Okay, Sophia or Karina. Okay, she's in her room. Wake up! No, wake up! It's her bedtime! I'll have to do it tomorrow now. Oh well. No, she's getting ready for bed. Go, 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 go. Hey, Karina, do you know where Raven went? Raven? Beats me. I feel like I saw her recently, though. Is she gone? Yeah, and Gaia said he doesn't know anything either. Oh. What? Actually, I think I remember seeing her head towards the icy rose bush. You saw her? I think so. Memory's kind of hazy. Thanks. Thanks for the tip. I'll go check it out. Hi, Mina. Good evening. Let's find her. Squeak, squeak, squeak. Woolies! Raven. There's a... I feel like every time I stream, there's like a fly in front of my TV now. Why? Stay back. Huh? You did send me a letter, right? Didn't you say you wanted to talk? Why are you here? Turned up slightly. Huh? Huh? That letter. It was a mistake. I have nothing to say to you. But... Leave. Uh... Raven? Just stay away from me. I'm begging you. He ran! Does he hate me now? That will Wooly. Oh. Alone again, aren't I? No, oh, poor Raven. Yeah, there's definitely something up with Raven. But the right things are going. It's the Wooly. Huh? Hang on, that Wooly seemed to like her. Oh. If I can pretend to be that Wooly, then maybe, just maybe. Now yeah, I'm a Wooly. I look nothing like that other one, but sure, this'll probably work. Now I need to cover myself in snow. Uh, to look white. Okay. Alright then. <laughs> I have you know what, let's just let's just ignore that. Let's just ignore the obvious thing we're all thinking. You You came back, huh? Bah! Bah! Forgive me for fooling you, Raven. <laughs> dot dot dot. Gaius is probably worried. Bah! And Mika. He probably hates me now. Nyaba! No, I'd never. Sorry, I don't speak woolly. Bah! Alright. Thanks. But thanks. Why does it always have to go this way? Bah. I thought we'd finally gotten to be friends. But that light takes everyone. That's not the curse she mentioned before. Nothing is. I told myself I'd never get anyone or close to anyone again. And yet... Being alone is so... Lonely. Being alone is so... Lonely. Poor Raven. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm no longer snowy. Huh? I... Sleep out here and you'll get sick, Raven. You're lucky that Wooly was snuggled up close enough to act as a blanket. Mika? 
Leave. I have nothing to say to you. Because of your curse? Huh? Stay away. I'm sick of it. I thought... I thought I'd finally found it. I thought that I'd finally grabbed hold. But every time I open my hands, they're empty. There's nothing there. I can't take it anymore. I can't take losing another person I care about. I'm sick of it. Ah. There it is again. But how odd. What is this feeling? It seems kind of familiar. Wooly! That Wooly! Yeah, this is definitely a familiar feeling. And then there's that Wooly! Raven? I thought... Hmm? I thought you'd vanished. Fine. Aww. Gasp. See? I'm still here. Dummy. Dummy. Hey, Raven. Yeah. Hmm? Let's go home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There you go. Everything's happy, and now there's a woolly nearby. Here you go. Raven? Thanks. Um, thanks for today. Huh? <sighs> Here, as thanks. Bye. Everybody just carries a giant treasure chest to throw in the ground with a reward. Well, that was a very raven thing to do. Hmm, what's this on my clothes? Ah, a feather from the bird that saved me in Sol Toronto Desert. Does that mean it was somewhere nearby? But what reason would it have for that? Well, racking my brain over it now isn't going to change anything. Quest complete. Crystals? I don't need these. Can I do anything else during the late night? Simple, simple. Except for Rusk, they're all simple requests, so we can't even really bother with these. But they don't matter too much. Let's go home and cook now. The knife. Squid sashimi. On. Salmon sashimi is level 25, so let's go with this. My award-winning salmon. I'm gonna cook it. Beautiful. Right. Level 23, it was worth it. Let's check the other ones now. Oh, hang on, I hit the same thing. Frying pan. Grilled squid. Mm, nothing else there. What about the pot? There's more hot cocoa. Nothing really there. What about simple? Pickled turnip. All I can really do is just kind of cut more things, huh? Or I hit the I hit the pot, didn't I? Yeah, or the frying pan. Guess we can cook up some of this. It adds a little bit. My cooking skill is getting there, but my goodness, does cooking take forever to raise. It seems like my best bet would just be, like, to keep raising the skill, buy a crap ton of cooking bread, and, um... Just eventually I should have a, a, a chance to get it, right? I could always save scum it, but... I need to make an omelette, I need to make ketchup, and I need it for other requests as well. Alrighty, let's go to bed. A little bit more, then maybe I'll call it a night. Of course, this won't be... I won't upload Rune Factory to YouTube until I have, like, enough for a big VOD. Because these episodes do way better instead of being super short. Hold up. Actually, hang on. Let's check this. Come quick. Uh, Rukusakia, Blaze, Marjorie, Evelyn... You know what I'm who I'm talking about, sidekick. Get over here. Your taste is about to be put to the test. Let's go talk to Daria. She needs to wake up, though, I'm pretty sure. So let me go ahead and just sell the sashimi stack I just made. Three. 
don't need this many crystals. Oh, right. I guess I can give the boots and stuff to What's-Her-Face. Oh, hang on. This one's level 10. This one's level 5. I can sell the level 3 one. Maybe eat one of the other ones uh, later. I meant to sell this later, too. Hmm. Level 4. I'll pop that one in. Put that away. My money is going up. Maybe I could see about getting the expansions from Blaze soon. Let's go see Daria. Learn about her rainbow ideas. Oh, not a cloud in the sky. Good morning. Good morning. Sidekick, I had a feeling you'd come. Uh, you think? Your letter specifically requested a sidekick. Who else would? Today, I need you to find a ring to fit the bronze statue I'm working on. Can't you just use a single sentence? Anyway, give me an R, give me an I, give me an N, give me a G. What's that spell? The thing I want you to find for me. All right, all right, I hear you. Mind if I see the statue so I have some idea of what I'm looking for? But it's not even close to completion yet. Well, that's just great. How am I supposed to know what kind of ring will go along with it? I suppose you have a point then. A ruby ring would be just fine. I literally have one of those on me, don't I? Why are you turning so red? Never you mind that. Fetch me the ring, sidekick. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. I literally have one of those. Yeah, yeah I do. This was like a random thing I got from a, as a reward I don't care to use. Well, that... Happy accidents, everybody. Here, I brought the ring you asked for. Oh. My. Yes. This is just what I was hoping for. So, how's that bronze statue coming along? Uh, uh, oh, that! I, um... Split it in half. You what? Barehanded. You split a bronze statue in half, barehanded. I sure did. You might be surprised how many incomplete works us artists end up blowing up into smithereens just because it looked at us funny. Which I did barehanded, of course. Barehanded. Yes, barehanded. I can't hear her at all. Shredded pile of bronze aside, I wouldn't want your efforts to go to waste. I'll just have to take that ring myself, I suppose. A shame, really. It would have looked lovely on that statue. Oh well, maybe it's for the best. Mm-hmm. Heck this up there, friend. All the girls are just like, bring me this nice thing that I need for this. It's like, oops, I can't do this anymore. I guess I gotta keep it. I mean, I guess. Great, all's well that ends well, I say. And here's your reward, just as always. Don't forget it. Right, the pleasure is mine. E! A ring Mika made. Oh, oh, I was joking. She just wanted me to make her stuff. Alrighty then. Wait, what? A, a sapphire ring. Oh. Oh, she wants us to be besties. If you just wanted me to trade you Groudon for your Kyogre, I I'd help you complete the Pokedex, girl. The sky is so pretty, isn't it? it sure is. Any particular reason you're thinking about it? If we were up in the sky, I bet everything we could see would be pretty, too. I imagine so, sure. Mm, yeah, okay, let's do it. Huh? Uh, do what exactly? Alrighty, then. That one's done. Oh, simple request. This is a bother. Oh, these are so simple. I... The bulletin board's not really giving me the good stuff anymore. Hmm. Looking for someone to collect ingredients for a new medicine. I'll even let you try whatever I brew on the spot. Free of charge. Sure. I really need to talk to everyone more to get more stuff. It's really nice out today, Mika. Isn't it? <laughs> morning. Good morning. Chara said we should make presents for Grandpa, so I'm gonna knit him a hat. Knitting is super hard, but it's still fun. Good morning, Good morning Mika. Good morning. Do you mind bugs at all, Shara? Hmm? I'm not exactly an entomophile or whatever they're called, but they don't bother me, no. 
Uh, that's a bit of a surprise. I mean, I'm in the flower business, and where there's flowers, there's bugs. I grew accustomed to them a long time ago. <laughs> that makes sense. Alrighty then. Should give Shara some more stuff. I really gotta give gifts to everybody. Um, I haven't really been talking to the general store owner. Morning. Karina's mom. Morning, Morning Mika. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome. Shino may come off as cold and rigid, but she's soft as butter when it comes to her girls. Really? We're talking about the person who runs the inn, right? Yeah, that's Shino. Wow, I never would have guessed. You two must be close if you know her that well. I wouldn't go that far. Our interactions mainly consist of her gushing about her daughter and me moaning about mine. She runs a tight ship as an innkeeper, but she just lets her daughters run wild. Like, she never even raises her voice at them. Welcome. What about furniture now? Which do you want? Mm, I need more lumber for this stuff. I, I think it would be in my best interest to start saving up for some of this as well. What does Hazel like? Maybe I could give her something. There we go. Come again. Come back soon. Many people seem to want to date Shino. It wouldn't be a Rune Factory game if, you, if you're not groaning that you can't date the older women. That's just a requirement for all of these games. Let's get some of the lumber going on. Excellent. I still miss the blacksmith lady in the second game. Evelyn, you should be able to marry Evelyn. There's no good reason you can't. Evelyn's not even older. You just can't for some reason. She, I mean, she even she even has a swimsuit model during summer. Let's go. That sounded creepy when I said that out loud. Disregard that. Excellent. Let's get some of that lumber. Hang on. This axe is better. I could finally start chopping the uh, stumps a little bit. Oops. I got snapback on the stumps. There. Excellent. Reason I can't, but spoiler. Okay, then I won't ask again. No problem. For now, let's get some of that wood. Wood is good. I probably could do to get some more money as well. Okay, there we go. Dude, I'm so spoiled from games like Mineral Town, where you chop the wood and it instantly goes to your shed. Like, it just teleports to your shed. Why can't all the games just do that? I mean... All the Rune Factories and Harvest Moon, Story of Seasons, they're inconsistent as hell. I really should, do, like, tr take a chance and stream some more of those sometime. Like, you guys have been supportive of this. I mean, yeah, Rune Factory's not the biggest popular thing on the channel, but the people that do watch it do love it for sure. Just a fun thing to have on the side every once in a while, like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon Stadium. Good night, Mika. They say that if you confess to your beloved under the Sharon's tree, your love won't come true. Funnily enough, a rumor that's the exact opposite of that was popular with travelers for a time. Who would have played that amusing prank, I wonder? I don't think you're even remotely in a position to talk here. Kara said we should make presents. I don't, oops, I accidentally almost hit her with the axe. Well, hello there, Mika. Today's the perfect weather for a midday nap. Hello. Surely you've seen what my granddaughter is like. You may not believe, however, is she's quite some promise as a witch. Her one and only teensy-weensy flaws that she doesn't always know when to slow down. A little more than teensy-weensy. Maybe I should give Colette some rice or something. Daria had a letter for me after I gave her some more grass. Welcome. Excellent. Vegetables, etc. Welcome. Good choice. I'll buy a couple of rice right now. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should buy some flowers for Shara. I'd grow them myself, but I'm too lazy and don't care enough. Welcome. Maybe I should talk to Karuna. But are you gonna make me? Exotic plant with blue flowers. It costs 750. Thank you, 
fine. I should just go get flowers for free in the woods, but whatever. Could go farm some monster drops in the autumn place. I don't even know if I could fight the boss in the autumn area yet. Hold up. Flowers, flowers, flowers. Ah, there they are. You like this, right? Is this for me? Thank you. That's yeah, basic as hell, but who cares? And I bought rice for Colette. I may as well get myself some more bread from Blaze while I'm in here, too. Is she here? Where's Colette? She's probably at Mary's place. I'm calling her Mary, too. Oh, yeah, she's just waiting to be a victim here. Gorgeous weather today. Mind giving this a taste test for me, Mary? Holy, this is amazing. You made this? Uh-huh. I had my dad, dad teach me how to make it. Not bad. For a pipsqueak. My size has nothing to do with anything. She took that personally. I'm not a baby. I just walk around with lollipops in my apron pocket. Oh, this rice for me? I really like it, so there's never a time I'm not happy to have more. Okay, and she likes green vegetables. Hello, Mika. Care to try a potion? What's the problem? I'm here to chat. You saw my request? All right, bring me an orange grass, would you? Um, I actually haven't accepted that request yet. And as an added bonus, I'll give you the potion after, fresh and hot off the fire. Actually, you can keep. I'll leave it to you then. And she's not listening. Doing the simple request will probably at least give her something. Let me go get orange grass from the field. There we go. That was easy. That was piss easy. Um, right over here. Excellent. Hold up, I'm engrossed in the dialogue. I missed chat. <laughs> go see Karuna, I gifted a sub. Okay. Here, I brought what you asked for. Splendid, thanks. And a little bit of this, a splash of whatever this is. Was that an explosion? Splendid, it's complete. That's failed dish, right? So it seems that was anticlimactic. Hey, I don't mind that. This is yours, I suppose. I'll let you know if I need help again. What a frickin' request, huh? I can give this to Sophia, if she's still up here. Oh, there she is. Oh no, this looks useful. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some floor bread from you. I'm gonna spend all my money on cooking bread, and then see if I can get more. Only three today. I'm not sure what the criteria for this is. Mmm, floor bread. I learned how to make snapper, sashimi, gyoza. Gold juice? Gold juice? I'm sorry? That doesn't sound very good. Jam roll. Learn how to make an egg bowl. Um, you just put an egg in a bowl. What's so hard about that? Oh, that's that. Nice weather today. It's weird. Carrots are vegetables, but they're sweet. How does that even work? Even sweet vegetables are out of the question, huh? Oh, he don't like the veggies. Hmm. I need to get some more money and lumber. Dinner requests for the day. Let's go over to the dungeon. Maybe get some monster drops as well for sellables. I really freed up my inventory this episode. Okay, there's a level up. I don't really need to upgrade my weapons and equipment at all right now. Oh, wait, what? The weather changed. It's suddenly a tornado. My weapon doesn't work the best on those fish, though. Warrior's proof. I can just ignore these fish, then. Oh, 
He's stuck. Ow. That's a big fish in there. Hold up. Wow, I'm getting a chunky amount of experience beating these guys up. It might not be a bad idea to just kind of farm them. Excellent. A branch. Well, that's lame. It's not even worth setting the branches down just to, um... Cook, uh, like, not cook them. Chop them up. Okay. I don't know why I'm bothering to pick it up, but all right. The wind here sucks when they blow that. Get out of here. Increasing my skill helps a lot, too. Jeez, yeah, they're giving fast experience. This is definitely worth it. Going for boss fights is definitely not the focus of this game, no. Definitely not. They definitely improve the combat a lot, though. It makes me excited to see how they, like, improve the game for, like, 4 and 5 as well. Oops. Honey. Break you down, too. Oopsie. Arrowhead. This is just random stuff we can sell. And now it's 6 p.m. Okay. More random branches. Broke the thing now. Feel that fishing and cooking are much easier in 4. Okay. I got an onigiri. May as well eat it. Get my eating skill up. I'm right about to hit level 30 now as well. Don't think I can get this big fish, but I will try. Come on. Damn. Come on. A skipjack. Oh, this one was 110. Reason my fishing skill helps. Dude, he's stuck on the rocks. He can't even reach the bobber. Oh, that was lame. Soft locked out of that fish. Come here. Oh, the fish can't go up the little wave. Damn it. I scared it away anyway. Okay, no problem. Can easily get out of here when we need to. Wait, huh? Oh, now there's a thing here. There's that howling. I think it came from upstream. I've been here before. You can see the map filled out. Is it because it's nighttime? Hang on. Blue. Getting closer and closer to the source of the howling. Maybe the boss fight did appear now. Save my rune points and go for it. I should be more than powerful enough to deal with whoever it is. Sounds like it's pretty deep in there. Finding the source is going to be a pain. Maybe it's because I had an active request last time I was here. That would make sense. Yeah, I think I was leading someone behind me. Oh, okay. I just assumed there was nothing here right now. Clear that wasn't the case, though. I can hear that howl really clearly now. It must be pr pretty close. Uh oh, big giants! Wow, that was impressive. It has to be up this way. Okay, let's make a save. See what cutscene happens for this. Make, make some progress today. Huh? Is that the lunch Sakia mentioned? Just been sitting there for weeks? I don't mean to be rude, but is this really worth all that fuss? Still. It's too quiet in here, especially after all the howling from before. I should get back to town right away. I have to let Sakia know about her lunch anyway. I don't think she cares anymore. It's been a while. Disastrous dish. It's mine. 
Nothing? Alright. No fight. Sakia just went inside her house. Hang on. Oh, she just went into the bath. <laughs> now I can't talk to her. I guess I gotta wait a second. Hang on, let me get some water. They're all going in now. Let me just wait outside creepily. I'm trying to talk to you. Just sitting here waiting. <laughs> sitting here waiting. Come on. Come on. Okay, good. She's getting out of the bath. Hello, ma'am. Very good evening to you. Heh. Good evening. Good evening. Mika, there's been trouble. Huh? Somebody ransacked the restaurant. Huh? What? Evidently, someone saw a big lion-like monster running away from there. I wonder if it's the same critter that attacked me earlier. See anything worth selling around here? You'd think I would have found plenty when I was sprinting around the dungeon earlier. Pretty sure you need to do more than run around to get materials. Somebody's ransacked the restaurant. Okay. And I check the restaurant, I guess? Watch your step, Mika. There are broken bits of plate all over the floor. What happened here? We had an unwelcome guest at the diner. I'm afraid a lion monster showed up out of the blue. Fortunately, no one was harmed, though it did eat all the salted char we worked so hard to prepare. It was so scary. I've never th seen anything like it before. I just feel for all the customers who had been looking forward to the food the beast made off with. I'll have to think up something else in the meantime. Lion monster? All right, I'll head over to Oddward Valley and see what I can find. I need to stop this thing before it causes any more damage. Deed. I won't be able to cook in peace knowing that the monster's on the loose. I'll leave it in your capable hands, Mika. Well, I guess now I can go fight the monster. It's close to midnight, but honestly, I'm just gonna go for it. I can save outside. It should be fine. Make a quick save. It's raining at night. Peak comfy. Mika! Mika! Hey, what's up? Get this, I just saw this huge, super scary looking lion monster. Really? Really? Where? When? Tell me everything you know. Okay, so I was fishing in the pond at the base of the waterfall, right? Then I got hungry, so I started setting out the lunch I'd packed when BAM! Lioned. Or as big as it was, it was quick. It had these long, wicked claws and big, sharp teeth that looked like they could chomp through anything. Oh, I'm terrified just thinking about it. Lunch was the last thing on my mind, so I left it there and bolted. It's down by the waterfall then. Got it. Actually, I'm not sure about that. I got worried about my fishing gear, so I snuck back to steal a peek, and it was gone. It took my salted char, too. Dang it, now I regret leaving it behind. Blaze said his salted char got eaten by something, too. That could make some useful bait. Maybe I should bring one along with me before I go. Thanks. Oh, I see. I appreciate you telling me this. It's big help. No problem. Good luck slaying the monster. Um, do I have char? Mackerel. I don't think I have char. Where do I fish that up again? I'm gonna have to get it tomorrow. It's a little too late now, isn't it? Can I catch that from the lake? I don't remember. It sounds like such a basic thing. Come on. Let me guess. I need thir uh, thir level 30 cooking skill to, to make salted char, probably. Come on. Russian right. carp. Found in the desert. Okay. I should just go to bed. Okay. I'll, I'll go a little bit longer with this current stream. YouTube audience won't care because it'll all be edited to be, uh, be a big one anyway. Usually I go long on Sundays anyway, but I wanted to keep it a little shorter today. We did like two hours of Pokemon Stadium.
And I wanted to do a little bit of this. Maybe I can do some more Rune Factory after Little Goody Two Shoes on like Tuesday. Little Goody Tuesday. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, before I check requests, let's deal with this. Let's go to the desert and get a char. Aha. Uh -huh. Get it quick. Okay. Let's take them all out, then. Yeah, there you go. Pineapple. Oh, we can make pineapple juice now. No. Put that away, please. I wanted to pick up my fishing pole. Don't remember if a char is a small fish or what. Come on. Okay, there's the char. Whoopsie. Now... What did I... What are you doing in my house? It's nice out. A good day for fortune materials. Raven be like, stay away from me, and then I find her in my house when I'm out. Morning. <laughs> oh, hey, Raven. What do you think about spooky stories? No! Huh? Oops. Raven's not a fan of spooky stuff. What do you think about spooky stories now? Brine pan. Salted char. Yeah, I made that a little while ago. Okay, let's go deal with the boss fight. She's foraging for materials in my house. Oh my god, you're right. Great day out, huh? Couldn't ask for better weather for fishing on the lake. Man, my snack got snatched. I was looking forward to that salted char. You go teach that critter a lesson. I got in a big fight with Monica the other day. Can you blame me? The girl was like, I hate fish. I hate squid. I know she's still young, but that's no excuse. And I refuse to back down. She'll come to see the truth of the trout, the beauty of bass, the scrumptiousness of the salmon. <laughs> Let nobody doubt your passion for fish. <laughs> What a silly thing to end up in a fight over. Morning. This is some great weather we're having. Morning. Because somebody's ransacked the restaurant. I got in a huge fight about Pia about fish. I accidentally skipped it. I was still a kid back then, so I got pretty miffed about not being able to eat my favorite food. My mom was nice enough to give me some on the sly. For some reason, the sashimi didn't taste as good as I thought it would. gonna keep eating the sashimi, though. Okay. They gotta make sure you're cooking anything in order for you to, like, do anything in this game. All of a sudden, once you get to the third dungeon, the game is just like, learn how to cook or you're not playing. <clears throat> you're not cooking anything, you're not playing the game. Let's run. There's grapes there. Hold up. Let me grab some of these. Oh, wait, am I full on stuff? Are you serious? Hold up. I can ditch something in a moment. Uh-oh. I'm trapped? This isn't the boss arena. Looks like I need to beat these monsters to proceed. Hold up. My inventory filled up stupid quick. I should have given away the sashimi. Mm. Just throw away the branches. Come on. Holy crap, that did a lot. Hold up, hold up. Dude, I gotta eat that some of that sashimi I have. Salmon sashimi. Come on. That did a crap ton to me. Am I wearing my armor? Yeah, I got good armor on, too. Oh, no, you don't. You get your butt over here. That takes care of that. Better keep moving. 
Wait, what? Oh, dude, I wanted to go to the save point before I healed. I should just eat some of those potions. Whoa. A minotaur, that's fantastic. This must be the work of those monsters. Fine, I'll take y'all on. Okay. Okay. Can't really do a whole lot to me. I don't have a lot of speed here, but boy do I hit hard with this sword. Oh boy, that takes care of that. Better keep moving. Uh, they dropped a green pepper. Bro, giant mushrooms there. Hang on, let's make a save. I can run around this one. I should be okay. I'll leave the salted char here to lure out the monster. There we go. It's coming. So you're the monster that attacked the diner. Oh, there's two of them. Wait, there's two of you? Then that means... It's no use. I'll have to take them both on. Just gonna go for it. Yolo slashing. Ow. Ow, ow. I'm stuck. Ow. You healed? Bro, I was stun locked. Are you serious? Did you see that? They hit me so many times in a row that it just put me in like a Street Fighter stun animation. I literally couldn't even take out something to heal at that point. Dang. All right then. Well, at least I have a goal to work towards now. I definitely should focus on lower, like next time I play, focus on increasing my armor and stuff. He juggled me, and then he healed mid-combo when I was stunned. That's rude. Okay. Ooh, that's a chunk of money right there. Whatever. We'll have to deal with it. We'll take our losses. Did I lose anything? Not really. At least we could do the request for the day. Oh, don't mind this. Thanks. Hello. Um, I can give you some sashimi, girl. That's a little 10 one. Oh my, you're giving this to me. An exceptionally, exceptionally kind gesture. <laughs> Hang on, let's check the bulletin board first if there's anything new. Hey, a good day. Nope, wrong thing. Oh, seeking collaborator job description, acquiring the guinea pig patient, acquiring a patient. It's whatever, this is an emergency. Do, don't come as soon as you can. Okay, it seems like because I was talking to these two, I unlocked their next, um, their next thing. Um, let's go talk to Sophia. Let's do that one. Probably in her house. Oh, right here. Good, evening. Good night, Mika. Mika, there's nothing afoot. Uh, come again? <laughs> I said there's nothing afoot. Uh, that is the opposite, right? Do you mean there's trouble? That's wrong. No. Oh, I figured that's what it was. So, what's wrong? I saw a dish sitting out on the table. I was feeling peckish, so I ate it. But, but, that was some food Papa had specially set aside for himself. Okay, and did you apologize to him for it? What? I couldn't possibly do something that calming. Huh? What? Calming, as in splatter, chainsaw, uh, visits to Marion. Oh, okay, you mean scary. Wait, what's Marion have to do with? Anyway, what I... Sureptis... Sureptitisily... What, what? I've never seen that word before. What the hell does that mean? I slurped down... Er... 
was a legendary soup spe specially prepared by Papa, our local three-star chef. And can't you ask Blaze to make another bowl? To remake it, he says he requires a certain number of birds. More specifically, the saliva they drool as they make their nests. I am so sorry I asked. So, Mika, can I ask you to collect three birds by 2 p.m.? That's kind of a tight time frame. That's why I told you to arrive late in the request. Didn't you read it? Fair. I, I guess I could give it my best. Please do. Once you collect the birds, bring them to me. I'll deliver them myself. Okay. I have two minutes to do this. How do I collect birds? Can I even do that? How do I... Um... How do I do this? I, I don't think you can pick up the birds. Is there something I'm missing for this? Uh, I'm very confused all of a sudden. I have two minutes to do it, and I don't even know what to start. Where where can I find birds that are, like, pick upable? You can pick up the birds. Am I supposed to, like, slowly approach them? Because I can't really go slow. Hang on. But if you run, they'll be scared up. How do I walk, then? Because... Oh, just tapping the control stick. Um, left shift is walk. Uh, no, it doesn't. No, R button is. Okay, I don't have space in my inventory. Are you serious right now? Oh, for the love of God, are you? can't put them in the inventory. So I have to just run and take them to her. Oh my god, I can't believe this is gonna work. More, I only need two more, keep it up! Come on, I know one can spawn there. Come on. Dude, where's the bird that was just there? More, I need one more. I'm out of time now. Hello. Wonderful. I doubt we'll be in time at this rate. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. It's all right. I suppose this isn't a, this isn't an absolute emergency. I'll simply go and gulp. Pick a fight with Papa. You do look pretty shaken up by the idea. Hey, Sophia. I wonder for a while, but why do you always carry an umbrella even on sunny days? <laughs> because it's absolutely useless, of course. It works nicely as a parasol on rainy days, for one, and I've used it to fend off insects and monsters on less than one occasion. I'm so happy. Its only advantage is that it's tiny. It's highly useful on rainy days. <laughs> but it's an umbrella. Bro, that one, that one was silly. Why was there such an arbitrary time limit on that? Oh, I literally had two minutes from when she told me to do that. So, did I do the request or not? It doesn't... Am I done? Do I have to do it again? I have no open requests. So I- wait, I just have to take it again and do it right? Okay then. Well, that's kind of annoying. At least I know what to do now, but man, that one was silly. That was really silly. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'll remember that for next time. Hello. Hello, Mika. Hello. Hello. It's Marion's birthday today. I got her a heaping or a helping of Shara's special boiled spinach. Hang on, it's her birthday. I gotta give her something. Maybe I can get a green vegetable from over here. Come on. What else does Marion like aside from cabbage? I don't think I'm gonna find cabbage though. 
Oh, it doesn't seem like it. Hold up. Maybe, just maybe, Yue is there and she'll sell something. No, she's not here today. Yes, I know, someone's ransacked the restaurant. We can't do anything about that, though. Plant stem. That one I need. I have a green pepper, actually. Maybe that'll work. I'm gonna make a save before I do that, though. I'm gonna make a save. Ugh. We'll, we'll do that Sophia request next time. It's so silly, though. I, I didn't even know you could pick up the birds. That's such a silly thing to have to learn on the fly. Um... What am I doing? I need to go to her. We got pineapple. Oh, wow, this is for me? I knew I could count on you to get me something I like on my birthday. Hi. Nice day out. I bet a quick hey. shot would make it better. What brings you in? Yes, I can be especially ambitious with my experiments today, and Granny won't get mad. Huh? huh? <laughs> it's my birthday today, after all. Good for you. Now let's check the mailbox for any extra requests now. Gimme, 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 gimme. Come quick. One more favor, saying thanks. Ah, we should do this one. Let's go see what Raven's up to today. Can I cook the birds? I don't know. I can't put them away. They're just kind of there. Oh, uh, did you read my letter? Yes, I did. You wanted to say thanks to everyone? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I feel bad for making them all worry. So I want to give out gifts that I know they'll all like. So it's my job to collect the goods. Mm-hmm. A failed dish for Sophia, an amethyst ring for Karina. I sold that. And I want to give some gold to Gaius. Gotcha. Let's get them ready and delivered. Okay, then. Can I even make an amethyst ring? I don't think I can. Ooh, this is a problem. I have a sapphire ring. I had an amethyst ring, but I, I sold it because I didn't think I'd need it. This is a problem. Hang on. I see. Crafting table. Aha! I can make it right now. Perfect. All right, failed dish. Did I have one of those on me? I could go make one, probably. I have a disastrous dish. Hmm. Oh, I could probably fail this. Watch me get it. Ah, perfect. Beautiful. That's the skill level I love to see. Failed dish, perfect. And Oddward Valley for the other stuff. I should probably sell a quick, quick couple things. This is going better than I expected. Maybe keep the pineapple. Sell these random monster items I picked up when I was leveling up earlier. Bull's horn. Mm. Honey. Don't need gunpowder. Warrior proof. Can throw away that. And the boot, too, why don't I? Okay, let's go mining. Do you use literal gold to make gold juice? I don't know, I didn't actually see what that where that recipe was. Alright, let's go looking. I probably should take out the enemies first. Oh, she's dead. Okay, cool. Raven, you're so weak! There, she leveled up. <laughs> no, 
No, no, no. Not what I need. Hmm. I'll have to keep looking. This is annoying. Great. I'll just have to leave her behind and hope she doesn't get hit. Oops. She'll be fine. Probably. Maybe. Ooh, money. Sorry. Corn on the cob. Cherry salmon. I'll take it. Aha. Okay, there's some here. So let me get ready to... Take out the enemies. Damn it. You keep dying, girl. I'm trying my best to help you. Something clicked for me just now. I learned the longsword ultimate attack. Repeatedly pressing B at the end of a regular combo. Ow. Give me that lobster sashimi. Out of the way, guys. I'm busy here. You go away. Okay, let's see if I can get gold from these rocks. She'll be fine. Don't worry about her. Hey, Aquamarine. Found silver. Ah. This isn't going so well. Uh oh. No, no, don't don't walk over there. Don't walk over there, girl. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> she got knocked into the other map. Okay, she leveled up. There we go. Well, this is probably my last chance for this. Leveling up my skill. I don't want the bronze. At least I'm getting silver from this. Oh my god, hit it, please. That's it. Ah. <clears throat> this isn't bad. Mm. I haven't given her armor. I guess I haven't. <laughs> oh well. Well then. Failed dish for Sophia. I want to give guys some gold too. I see. Dude, where can I get some gold at this hour? The answer is probably not right now. Uh, Welcome. Howdy, come on in. Something you, uh... Bargains? Welcome. He doesn't sell gold. Ah, darn it. Come back, something up. I guess I can go come look in the soon. ice place. We're really running out of options, aren't we? Big fish. Christmas friend there. Sorry. Raven is gonna die. Oh, hey. Okay. Let's go for it. Tapped him all around. I don't think I'm doing very much because of my elements here now. Crap. Get rid of them. Switch to these. Ow. Sorry, Raven. Okay, good. I finally took them out. 
Go away. I think there's another portal on the other side. Damn it, there is. Hang on. Please just give me gold. Got silver. Got silver. Got more silver. And I'm dying. <laughs> I can't get the gold. There isn't any to find. Game will not hand over any gold at all whatsoever. Is there anything a quick mine here? I can't seem to go very far here, no. Oh. Okay, and we are back, everybody. We went and we got some gold. I had to figure out how this works. You don't actually give Raven the items. You have to um, go give them to the different NPCs directly. No problem. It has been like a week since I got to play this, and we just wanted to get that gold out of the way. I went ahead and I found it in Oddward Valley today. Oh, no, I don't need to be in here. Guy should be at his shop. This was a difficult quest, because last time, uh, the gold would not drop anywhere. Let's go. Hmm. This for me? Thanks, what brought this on, though? I, um, made you worry before. Why are you fussing over that, Raven? There's no need. What are you... Not everybody's the same, of course, but to me, that was totally normal. Of course I'm gonna worry for my family. Family? You'd get worried if I disappeared, right? Yeah. I would. So there you go. I'll still take the present, though. I appreciate the thought. Thanks. 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 You're welcome. Okay, next we have a failed dish for, um... Hold up. For Sophia and an amethyst ring for Karina. And I want to give guys some gold. Okay, Karina's right here. Let's find her the amethyst ring I made. Wow, it's an amethyst ring. It's so pretty. Why are you giving this to me, though? Are you pulling some kind of prank? It's my way of apologizing for the trouble I caused. Trouble? What's she talking about? Huh? Oh, right! That trouble! Yeah, I remember now. Apology accepted. Apology for what? I still don't know. I'll let you off the hook just this once. Well, that was nice of her. She is so lazy, she can't even be bothered to remember. Yay. Hold up. Right, it was a failed dish, not a disastrous dish. Would you like the garbage I... Oops, hang on. Would you like the garbage I made in my kitchen? What? Is this for me? Yeah. Thanks. Really? I'm so dismayed. Thank you. Oh, by the way, you seem to be operating under the assumption that the spirit light erases humans. Huh? Huh? Uh. You knew? Not at all. <laughs> so you did. I looked into it. Apparently it's a phenomenon that tends to occur when there's a jumble of humans and monsters, or where the runes happen to be relatively unstable. A jumble of humans and monsters? Isn't that just me in a nutshell? I didn't find anything that says it erases humans. At most, there were only a few mentions of monsters disappearing. But I saw it happen. A friend disappeared right in front of my- right in front of my eyes. Are you sure they were human? Huh? To be fair, I only did a little research. It doesn't interest me, so... Let me know if you discover anything. Why is Sophia, of all people, telling us this? That's a little strange, don't you think? Uh, I think I can read between the lines here. Seems like everyone liked their presents. Mika, this is just for you. You've got something for me? Mm-hmm. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. I'm glad you thought of me. You're welcome. Oh, that reminds me. Here, for you. Oh, this feather. I noticed it on my clothes after we walked home together the other day. You can have it if you want. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Hmm? What's wrong? Nothing. Bye. Hmm? Yeah, we're friends. She gave me a hat? How good is the hat, though? It's level two? Well, that's just not very good. 
Barely gives anything. I'm just gonna sell it. Comes with comfort that only a handmade item can. It's 912. That's what I got from her right there. Okay, then. Can I do a bulletin board request? There's something I have to find right now, like, immediately. Seeking collaborator, acquiring a guinea pig. Um, didn't I do this one before? It's whatever. This is an emergency. Don't come as soon as you can. I feel like I tried to do this one, and then I wasn't able to do it, right? I think I needed, um, cooking? Or was that different? Well, let's go help Colette. Why not? That was heartless. What? I need to make a living here. She's not here. Looks like she's down here. How, is it? How goes it, Mika? Hello. Did you see what I put on the message board? Yep, you wanted help finding something? That's right, and I need you to help me ASAP. Uh, sure. What is this thing exactly? It's, um, a potion. Potion? Are you feeling sick? Oh, <laughs> I guess you could say I'm a little under the weather. All right, what's the twist? What's, what's the potion gonna cause? That's awful. What kind of potion do you need me to get? It's, uh, a potion for a tummy ache. Really potent stuff. Huh? Tummy ache? But I thought your stomach was cast iron. Well, uh, about that. I had Mary make me something, but she gave it to the wrong person. I gotcha. I I'm still a little shocked that you're even capable of getting a stomach ache. Never you mind that. We need to hurry and track down the potion. First, we need to go find Mary. All right. Wait, why does she fight with a giant lollipop? Excuse me? Well, I can't see it on this screen. Item one, lollipop. She has a lot of attack, but no uh, armor, like everyone else. I know Pia fights with a giant fish, but swordfish or at least have sword in the name. <laughs> Hang on, close that. Hi. Nice day out. I bet a quick shot would make it even nicer. Hello. Hello. What What's the problem, Unwell? I'm here to chat. Mary, that stuff. Potion. Who? Who? What? To the where? Huh? What are you babbling about? The potion? Since completing it, I believe both Sherman the Wealthy Gormand and um, Hazel from the General Store have been by. I suppose I must have inadvertently given it to one of them. Sherman the Wealthy and Hazel from the General Store. Mika, let's go. I I'm right behind you. Wait up. Sounds like you got a lot on your plate, Mika. Thanks to a certain someone. Yes, yes I do. <laughs> that was passive aggressive, wasn't it? Okay. Ask Hazel. Try her first. Hey, Mika, how you doing? Hello. Welcome. Hazel, did you get medicine from Mary? She is very adamant about this. What, what what's going to be the twist here? I wonder. That I did. You must be psychic. Here it is. It's Invinceroid. Being fe uh, been feeling pretty worn out lately, you know? If I could get Karina to do some real work for a change, I might avoid withering into a drained husk. Sorry for bothering you. Come on, Mika. Time to hit her next lead. Hey, hey, wait for me, Colette. I don't know what's going on, but it looks like things are rough for you too, Mika. <laughs> Thanks again, Hazel. All right, then. She walks in with a giant lollipop, ready to throw down. Uh, who was the second one? Right, Sherman. And I was Sherman, did Mary give you any medicine? No, is this, this what you mean? That's stomach medicine. Indeed. It's something utterly necessary for moi, wouldn't you think? Evelyn insisted I take it just in case. Sorry to bother you then, Mika, on the next one. Huh? Weren't we looking for stomach medicine, though? My, my, Mika, you and the sous chef look like you're having a horrible time. <laughs> we'll be going now. Uh, we need to get back to Mary. Okay, I was wondering, because we exhausted both leads. What brings you in? What's the problem? Are you perhaps feeling unwell? Oh, Mary... 
Neither of them had it. Oh, that's odd. Oops. Ah. Uh, that's right. I'd completely forgotten I put it in my pocket. No wonder I couldn't find it on any of the shelves. Mary. All's well that ends well, right? Well, here you go. Yay! Wait. Huh? This is the potion that's to make me bigger? Yep, yeah, well, less of a potion and more of a vitamin supplement. Get plenty of exercise and eat lots of good food and your body should get larger on its own. Oh, and don't forget a good night's sleep. That's what Granny said when she stopped me, anyway. I brewed this miracle potion that was supposed to make you taller, but Granny pointed out its murky tint, so... Slump. Oh, she just wanted to not be short. She just wanted to not be short. I feel like this was like there was always a character with this exact wish in every old anime. Ah! <laughs> um, this is just between us, okay? Completely hush-hush. You saw and heard nothing. Nothing happened. Here, take this. Just don't tell anyone. Half the town already knows, but my lips are sealed. <laughs> oh, yes. Request complete. Really? Regular medicine? That's it? Well, whatever. What's the problem? Let's chat. Okay, I'll need some of this, some of that, and tomorrow's the flea market. I look forward to it every year. I can get my mitts on the most fascinating of ingredients. Excellent. Don't tell anyone. She'll stab me. Colette seems likely to have a knife on her at all times. Probably for cutting steak. Come quick. You have until 6 p.m. Stop reading. Well, this is the one I need to do earlier in the day. Really? Uh-oh. Simple request. One more favor. More souvenirs. Oh, right. Can't do this one. Can't do this one. Putting the finishing touches on a new outfit. Uh, it's a little late to look for materials. Uh, let's see what this one is. Let's see Sakia. What's she up to? Is she even here? Oh, no, she's right there. What am I saying? This is some great weather we're having. There you are, Mika. You read my letter, I take it. Yeah. Right, then you think you could get a cheap cloth for me? I'm not too good with monsters, see? Oh? I mean, it's not like I hate them or anything. But they have a nasty habit of stealing food from me, among other things. I see. So you think you could take care of that for me? Right, the request. Sure, can do. Fantastic, you're a big help. I'd advise going after an orc and seeing if it drops the cheap cloth for you. Got it? Cool. Yeah, I'm counting. This won't do. Oh my my, what do we have here? I think you've been relying on Mika a little too much lately, Sakia. Huh? What? I don't mind, really. It's a matter of principle. You'll never become a respectable innkeeper with that kind of attitude. You're right. I was relying on him too much. Sorry, Mika. I'll find a way to handle this myself. Are you sure this is all right, Shino? Yes, it's for the best. She won't be able to take over as innkeeper if she keeps being half-hearted about it. But telling her to do it on her own might be too big of an ask. And when did I forbid her from receiving help, hmm? Huh? All I said is that she was relying on you too much to get things done. And it's all right if I give her a hand? That's not for me to decide. I... I think I get it. Well, all right then. Did she go back in here or what? She probably went to the forest. Let's go help her out. Let me get my big screw you sword. I'm running out of inventory slots though. I guess I should sell some stuff. Pretty sure I should be able to find an orc around here. Huh? This is Sakia's bell? She must be around here somewhere. All right, we gotta find the girl. Out of here. Oh, hey, cheap cloth. Well, I'll just hang on to that. I better make some juice and stuff later, but hang on. That's right, we have a Chef Teddy emote now. Perfect for when we do some cooking. 
Okay, nothing over here. What about up this way? I'm sure I'll find her around here somewhere. Oh, this is blocking the way. No, she's not here either. Where did she go? Right here? Oh, <laughs> of course she was. There she is. <sighs> I wonder if I can really pull this off. But if I can't, how will I ever be able to run the inn like my mom? That's when I can start franchising, and once I corner the inn market, I'll be rolling in dough. Look at her. She's got that money, money in her eyes, like she's a demon, like she's possessed by the gold, the G's. I don't even know if I could spend all that cash for one. Oh boy. First things first, I gotta find a cheap cloth. Easier said than done. Usually I just scoop up whatever I find on the ground when I'm running for the hills. Monsters are way too scary. What to think? Think, Sakia, think. I wanna help, but how am I gonna get the item to her? I throw it to her? Hang on, I'm gonna save in case I mess this up. Hang on. That woolly was looking at me funny. I wonder if anyone's left some cheap cloth on the ground or something. Wish there was something I could do to help. She'll probably turn me down if I offer, though. Will it even reach if I throw it from here? Uh, I did just pick it up. There it is. Ow! Huh? This is... Yes! Cheap cloth! Where could this have... Aha! I know it's that's you, Mika. I told you I didn't need your help. Rats, she's on to me. If only I had a disguise or something. Oh, I need to be a woolly for this. Do I get it back? Probably not. I can go get another one easily. I bullied the woolly, but it seems like I needed to be a woolly. Come on. Hang on, it'd be easier if I use my dual blades for quick kills here. Come on. Worst case scenario, I can always reload if I don't get the drop before the day ends. That'd suck, though. Come on, get booped. We're not getting the drop. Get out of here, you. They're not dropping it. They're seriously not dropping it right now. Come on. Helper Wooly is on the way. Moments like these is when you need a real helper bear as well. I wish I could have a teddy or so that just throws me things that I need. Although, he'd probably break them if he did that. Let's be real. The monkey's paw wish. You have a teddy ursa that gets you stuff, but he gets you your hot cocoa and he just throws it on the floor. It has been a while. Where are the cheap cloth? Drop the cheap cloth. Oh my god. Dire. They're really not gonna drop it again, huh? I thought this would be so simple. I know I can reset, but I can also just do this. Hold up. Meh. Cheap time. The way things are now, I don't think she'll let me help. Dangerous for her to be alone. What can I do to assist her while remaining incognito? I'm gonna be a sheep. What? No, no, throw it. Are you serious? Really? <laughs> are, cause, are you blind, girl? <laughs> I'm not seeing any cheap cloth anywhere. What can I do to help her? Look down. Look down, you idiot. Ma'am. I need to hit her in the head with it. 
Meh. And reload the save, save if needed. Punch you. If needed. If needed. Or they could just drop it right now and we can go move on. Get sheeped on. Come here, you. Keeps looking straight. I need to hit her in the back of the head with it. This sheep gave me the Smash Brothers combo. Oh, I broke it. Good golly. I don't want to have to reload. It's cheap cloth that should drop simple. Simply. Quick and easy. My skill's going up doing this. Oh, there it is. Hang on, hang on, let's go, let's go. Because you're stupid, that's why. Ow! Wait, this is cheap cloth. Did Mika do this? No, it's just me, a friendly woolly. What was that? Just me, a friendly woolly, hanging out. It's not cheap cloth, it's a sheep cloth. Hey, Sakia, did you find any cheap cloth? I, I, just so happens I did, but... What? Never mind, it's nothing. I'll go ahead and get back to work. Here, this is for letting me bother you today. Huh? Huh? But I didn't. <laughs> I called you all the way over for nothing, remember? And why are you acting so surprised? <laughs> oh, oh, no reason. Yikes, I thought she figured out I helped her. I'll see you around then. Yeah, see ya. Phew, glad that all worked out. Insect. Wow. She gave me insect butts. I didn't need those. Everyone's going to bed now. Gosh golly. Well, tomorrow's the flea market now. She deserved that bonk. Yes, she did. Go to bed. Maybe have my fishing line is the main thing. Do I have any stuff I could juice up right quick? Pineapple juice? We don't need a pineapple anymore, I'm pretty sure. Have some of this. Right. Oh, nice! My cooking skill went up. Yeah, I'm taking a quick drink here. Hang on. Tomato juice. I need that tomato. Ketchup. I can make it with 100% now. Chat. I can finally catch up. I can finally catch up. That level 23 for it was it was needed for. I should put it in the fridge for when I eventually need it. This is the perfect time to show that new emote. Let me let me get it. We have Chef Bear. Let me get him set up. Look, there he is. The legends were true. We did it. It came with a brand name bottle and everything. Gold juice. Yeah, good luck making that. Good luck. I made ketchup. I'll remove the cook teddy in a second. Hang on. Got it. Where is it? There it is. Condiment made of tomatoes. Its tangy taste goes well with egg and potato recipes. I made ketchup. And now I need to make an omelet. But not today. Chef Teddy did it. Now level 32 for an omelet. The same level as gold juice. Ain't that something silly, ain't it? Okay, I don't need to be carrying around this oil. Yeah, put that there. Hang on, I have two things of honey and mayonnaise there, so let me just put these away. Make some space. Corn on the cob, you can just sell that. Sell some of this excess juice as well. I need to make some inventory space, it's easier for things to pile up. I got squid for Pia. Uh, right, there it is. The honey. 
<laughs> Teddy Ursa could stab you and you'll just be like, ooh, what a cute baby bear. <laughs> Who's a cute little murderer? Cute little moiter bear. Let's do it. Pair some fish? I mean, I always can, but we don't need to right this second. Can I even knife the ones I have? Squid sashimi. Cherry salmon sashimi. Sell some of this stuff tomorrow. Skipjack. Ooh, this one's 60%, so it's not a guarantee. Hang on to it for a little bit. Let's go to bed. Tomorrow's the flea market, so if we talk to everybody, we can get ourselves some more friendship boosts and more events for the day after. What was I doing again? Okay. First, let's go ahead and do this. I'm have some juice. And now let's go ahead and make some room. Lobster. The sashimi will sell. And I can give some to what's-her-face. Sakia. Pike sashimi, save that. I don't need the corn on the cob. I can pick that up as a random drop. Hmm. Pineapple juice for now. I didn't talk to Karuna, no. You'll have to wait. Wait to turn like everyone else. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Mm. Still getting ready at the moment. Come back later. What is the flea market all about, anyway? Not everyone's even awake. Good morning, good morning Mika. You won't believe how many fish I've caught. Mm. Good morning. Mm. Oh, man. My snack got snatched. I was really looking forward to the salted char. Oh, right. I need the salted char to fight the boss. You teach that critter a lesson he'll never forget. Do I still have that? Still setting up. And ask for better weather. Hey, brother, sorry, I'm still setting up. Everyone's waiting to sell me stuff. Do I still have salt to char? I think I do. And sell it, right? They put it somewhere else? Mackerel. What did I do with that? Did I already lure the... Did I already lure the monster? Yeah, I think I put it, set it down to lure the monster, and now every time I go back, the monster will be there to fight. Does anyone remember what the hell I did last time? Just tell me. Why are you sleeping? Wake up, girl. Well, we're waiting for everybody to get up. Still getting ready at the moment. I did do that? Okay. Um, am I able to take requests today? Come quick. Stop reading and go. Invitation to supper. Maybe I can do this now. Catching birds is weird as hell, though. Karina's in her normal spot. Morning. Nice weather today. Morning. I've been doing some thinking about what happened before. You have? Oh, got something you want to say to me? You don't believe I'm capable of deep thought, do you? No, ma'am, I'm good. Anyway, I learned it's never a good idea to just jump on the bandwagon for whatever's popular. Yeah, that goes double for sharing germs. And that maybe I'm wrong wanting to rush to the city. Right. I believe moving to the city would let me live an easier life. I thought working my butt off to get there would make me happy. I don't know what's wrong with me. Yeah. I did all that hard work because I thought I could relax once I got to the city. Ironic, isn't it? Yeah, I totally... Wait, huh? That's when I had a revelation. I don't have to keep trying to go to the city. I just have to bring the city to me. Huh? I think I felt something pop in my brain. Please help me make that dream come true. How will I be helping to you? Or helping you exactly? Like I said, we're going to bring the city here. We'll call this plan... Yeah. Never mind what it's called. The important thing is that I'm going to start selling items from the city here. Thinking up clever names for stuff is a one-way ticket to Snooze Town. <sighs> right. How are we going to emulate the city exactly? <laughs> Don't worry, I'm prepared for this. You are? Are you sure? Yeah, I am. Seriously? Just chill. It, no, it's just wow. You're dang right this plan is wow. Let's get going. Where to? We're going to talk to my mom. I thought this was for collecting birds, but I guess this is a different one. Uh, we're gonna talk to my mom. We need a store if we plan to sell things. You should know that much. <laughs> is this really gonna work? Okay, let's go talk to your mom. This'll be fun. 
This is gonna be this is gonna be good. Karina's gonna talk about working. Karina, are you slacking off yet again? You're off by a mile. I am working right now. What? You are. Welcome. Oh, Mika's with you. Yeah. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, no need to be so humble. You're one of my favorite customers. Oh, thanks. See, I'm not slacking off. I'm just not doing the work you assigned to me. That was Sophia's request. Oh, you're right. You're right. Sophia wanted the birds. My mistake. Okay. Well, what do you know? She hasn't told Hazel yet. Oh boy, I hope this works out. Hey, Mom. What is it? My, you're a bit of a chatterbox today. I want you to let me have the shop for a bit. You actually want more shifts. No, I want to sell some stuff from the city, and I need to borrow the store to do it. Honestly, you really think I'd put my store in the hands of the world's biggest slacker? Seriously? But our client base is limited to people living in town. It's a matter if we only see one person in a day. Customers are customers. Besides, travelers sometimes make their way here, too. Now stop making jokes and get back to work. Hmm. It wasn't a joke. He's gonna do something. Um, maybe we could try putting the items up for sale then? Huh? That way we could freshen up the store's stock while Karina just watches over the place like she normally does. Please, Mom? Karina? I want to try my hand at running my own store, even if it's just for a single day. Hmm... You sure you didn't bang your head or something? Mom! <sighs> All right. Huh? Take it for as long as you like, then. Just make sure you treat your customers right. You got that? <laughs> Mom. Yeah, I will. I'm gonna do my best. Goodbye, midship naps. For now. <sighs> She's in your hands now, Mika. <laughs> Leave it to me. What do I have to keep working for? I'm not getting paid for this. All right, time to do this. You really are getting into this. What's gotten into you? I'm not really sure myself. I know I'm just having tons of fun. That's all that matters. Glad to hear it. Now we just need to grab the goods from Raven. Could you go get them um, from her, Mika? Yeah, no problem. Where are you, Raven? Upstairs. Morning. Morning, Mika. Morning. Morning. Um, Karina asked me to come get something. You took the scrap metal plus. Thanks. Thanks. Mm, what's up? And Karina? What about her? What's she doing? Oh, she said she wants to bring the city to the countryside by selling things that are popular in the city. Oh. <laughs> That's all she has to say. All she needs to say. Welcome. Oh, Mika, welcome. I'm here to chat. Could you get the goods from Raven? Scrap Metal Plus? Where is it? Oh. What's so special about this? Requested from Karina by Karina, given to you by Raven. It's a super duper awesomely spectacular piece of scrap metal that's super duper useless to most people. It's a unique item just for this quest, it seems. I brought the stuff, but do you think people will really buy this? Yeah. I know they will. This stuff's all the rage in the city. All the rage with a niche audience, I think. Less talking, more working. Start putting those on the shelves. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, isn't this the penda you got pendant you got from Sophia? Oh my god. Chat, you were giving me crap for doing this earlier. She's actually doing it. <laughs> A replica of it, actually. I asked Raven to make it for me. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Actu actually made a replica. Never mind. Oh, that explains why you borrowed it. Exactly. But this is the outfit that Evelyn gave you, right? Yeah. Mm, that's the real deal. Oh, never mind. She's still, she's still actually doing it. Never mind. I thought you were really fond of it, though. If I'm gonna run a successful shop, I'm gonna have to make a few sacrifices. Karina? 
buy her clothes. The crowd's uh, a little thin, huh? Yeah. You tired? No, I'm more awake than I've ever been. She had us in the first half, not gonna lie. You can go ahead and leave, Mika. What? But I can handle the rest by myself. And he went out of his way to help me. I feel so bad. Karina? Thanks for keeping me company today. I'll see you later. Thanks for keeping me company today. I'll see you later. She looks so sad. But well, what can I do for her? <laughs> hey, did you hear about that shop over there? Seems they're selling some new stuff. That sounds like Hazel and Marjorie. Oh, are they now? That's news to me. Didn't have a clue, huh? Go on, don't you have something to say? He's here already. Oh, right. Huh? Do they think I can't see them or something? Ahem. If you spread the word, they will come. It's not as if the store is drowning in customers to begin with. Hmm. True, true. Still, I'm impressed with how you raised your daughter, Hazel. Compared to my little Mary, it's like night and day. Marjorie. What? You're the one who wanted to do this little production, and now you don't want to hear what I have to say? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just like, I don't like talking about family matters in public. I wanted to go somewhere private for that. Oh, is that right? I suppose it's time to take our leave. See you around, Mika. Marjorie, please, honestly. <laughs> Spreading the word, yeah? That makes sense. Okay, then, tell everyone about it. Hey, well, did you know there are strange things for sale at the general store today? Oh, and go tell... <laughs> go tell someone who cares. Wow! When you think about it, the flea market is the worst possible day I could be doing this quest. Perfect weather today. Good morning. Hey, Blaze, did you hear? Word is there's some unusual stock at the general store. Unusual, you say? Like a new kind of spice, perhaps? Maybe, in a way. New experiences are the spice of life, right? I gotta tell everybody. I'm telling everybody about this stuff. Nice out today. Well, I got stuff to hammer. Hey, guys, I hear the general store is selling something unusual. Oh, yeah? Don't get my hopes up unless it's some kind of ore. Actually, as luck would have it, I think they do have some. Okay. What, really? Interesting. As soon as I'm done here, I'll have to check it out. It was scrap ore, though. <sighs> We're here to hustle. Uh, Raven! The general store? Right, if you could. That's not the sort of thing you ask people to do. Right, true. Sorry. That's something to apologize for, either. Right, uh... Gotcha, thanks. Good evening. Good evening, Mika. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Sophia. I'm unaware. Huh? This is about the general store, right? Oh, right, right. You heard from Raven! You were already going to go, right? That's wrong. No. Okay, we'll be waiting. Talk to everybody. Oh. Okay. Same thing. Hey, Carmen, do you know what the general store has stocked some new stuff? Interesting items? Oh, really? We talking pike, maybe? Or sardines? Um, no, I don't think they deal in fresh foods. Then maybe grilled fish? Not bad either. She's definitely interested, but I don't think she's gonna take this bait. Hey, Carlos, did you notice the weird stuff in stock at the general store? Weird stuff, huh? We talking rare sashimi or some new kind of grilled fish? I bet Carmen would be interested. No, uh, there isn't any seafood. It's more like clothing and, ex clothing and accessories. Clothing and accessories, huh? <laughs> Carmen looks good in just about anything, but her in anything much nicer... Wait, what? But put her in anything much nicer, and my already too adorable for her own good sister might start attracting b, -b boys Ugh. Ugh! Mika, what am I supposed to do? What's the best thing I can do for her? I just don't know! Oh god, Carlos, stop talking. Holy moly. Just 
Just tell me you won't do anything too unhinged. Well, I've spread the word far and wide. Time to go back to the general store. Oh, no, I wanted to hear, hear more people reactions. Gorgeous weather today. Morning. Hey, Colette, I heard the general store got a shipment of some really unusual stuff. Unusual new food? I didn't say anything about food. Everyone wants food. What a lovely day we're having. I'm sure the flowers are happy to soak up all this wonderful sunshine. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Shara, do you know if there's some uh, there's some unusual things for sale at the general store? Oh, dear. There are. Maybe I'll have a look later on. Well, spread the word. Morning. You too. You got money, right? Morning. Morning. Hey, Monica, did you know there's weird stuff for sale at the general store? So? I don't need any weird stuff. <laughs> I feel like the sales pitch isn't really working. But uh, hang on, I want to keep talking to people. See their dialogue for this. Good morning, Good morning Mika. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Shino, Karina is selling unusual items at the store right now. Is she? Oh, I see what's going on here. Meaning, Hazel is much too easy on that girl. All it takes is her daughter acting sincere for once, and then she folds like a stack of cards, and even tries to help her in secret as well. <laughs> I, uh, can't really argue that. Good morning, Mika. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, Pia, the general store is selling some really unusual stuff, and I thought you'd... Speaking of unusual, the bath was freezing the other day. Turns out it's because I forgot to heat it. Silly me. Right, so like I was trying to say, the general store is, I went to heat it up, right? But it turned out I was low on additives. I am such a goof, which reminds me, I should go stock up on some more at the general store. At least we got there in the end, I I guess. Well, spread the word. Morning, morning Mika. Morning. Good morning. Sakia. Hey, Sakia, it sounds like the general store is starting to carry a different lineup than usual. Mm -hmm. What? And Karina's the one running it, too. Oh man, and she's the second generation businesswoman like me? Looks like I got a new rival. Thanks for the heads up, Mika. I'll go do some recon later. <laughs> well, that didn't work the way we want, but hey. Hold up. I wonder if Evelyn wants to hear about her dress for sale. Hey, Marion, did you know the general store got some weird stuff? Oh, is this a funny kind of weird or an unusual kind of weird? Well, I'm sure they're funny to some people. Still on, but the whole I'd say unusual describes them pretty well. I'm on my way. I had a feeling she'd bite. Where's Evelyn at? Oh, she down here. What refreshing weather we're having today. Good morning. Hey, Evelyn, I wanted to chat about the general store. Karina's putting in some real effort, isn't she? I'm proud. Apparently, she didn't really want to offer your outfits for sale there, but uh, still. <laughs> oh, I know. It's all right. I'm still grateful beyond words. My brand is finally stepping out into the wider world. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it is, yeah. Okay, that's enough of them. Let's go back to the store. Oh, hey. welcome. oh Mika, welcome. <laughs> so many people visited the shop today. Oh, really? It looks like all that work paid off. But the thing is... Nobody bought anything. Yeah. No. Oh. It might be time to close up the shop. Ah, huh, really? <laughs> it's just how it goes sometimes. Commerce is a finicky, finicky animal. Hey, it's Sophia. Oh, that's right. Sophia loves garbage. Sophia? Oh, she's looking at the pendant. This scrap metal is absolutely horrendous. I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. Now that's what I call a ripoff. Thanks! <laughs> Looks like you made a sale. Yeah. Yeah. Your first sale. Raven! This is like when I started YouTube, and I was excited to get, like, one view on something. <laughs> Unironically. This is what I'm reminded of. You still at it? Yeah, kind of.
I'll take this then. Are you sure? Why would I buy it if I wasn't sure I want it? Yay, pity sales. That makes two sales. Yeah, but... Mom? Honestly. Honestly, is that how you greet a customer? Welcome! <laughs> That's much better. I can greet people however I want when I run this establishment. As a matter of fact, the next new person to introduce them in ch themselves in chat, I will tell them to heck off. Go on, try it. I think I'll get this. That's the outfit Evelyn made. Hi, mods ban that loser. Ban that loser for walking into my stream with that kind of confidence. Get out of here. That's the outfit Evelyn made. What are you up to? What did I just say to you about customer service? Oh. Well, it's not like I'm one to talk. Now go ahead and ring this up. Evelyn gave me this outfit. It's really special to me. You don't say. Why are you tell me this? Because... I don't want to sell this to someone who's just trying to make me feel better. Nonsense. It's up for sale, isn't it? When a customer wants an item, it's not your place to dissuade them. A business owner chooses the items they want to sell if that's their job. I guess I can settle for this weird-looking stone, though. What, really? This is the first time I can recall you doing something... doing some good, honest work. I want a memento to remember this day by. Mom? How many times do I have to remind you I am a customer? Yeah. Besides, <laughs> if I didn't do this, it'd be rude to everyone who helped you. What? That's me. All right, don't forget to tidy up the store when you're done. Shh, you're a customer now, remember? That's right, how could I forget? Yay, she did one day of work. Well, time to close up shop for real. Sounds good to me. Karina's the type of person that would finish high school and immediately try to become a professional influencer at all costs. That's what I imagine her trying to do if she existed in, my, in our, our world. Thanks for everything today, Mika. You don't have to thank me. I had a good time just watching everything unfold. I see. Oh, this is for you. For me. I hope you like it. Wow, thanks. But is it okay for you to give this to me? Yeah. You've done a lot more than that for me. Huh? Did you say something? N -n no All right, I'm off for the day. Okay, thanks, Mika. What is that? Greenifier. Well, all right. Oh, Mika, hello. Would you be open to trading me some cabbage? I can give you one of these items in exchange. Oh, okay, this is what the flea market is. I give people random crap for other random crap. That's unfortunate. I need cabbage to complete the new outfits. Maybe I should try and get some random things for this if I can. Welcome to Shara's pop-up flower garden. Anything catch your eye? Uh, nah. Oh, dear. oh, boo. That's too bad. Isn't Emery Flower the, the flower from the first game? Wait, what's this? Hang on. Uh, the flower from the first game that takes like a hundred days to grow? Welcome to Monica's Rock, pa Rock Scissors Paper Shop. Play once for... 500 G? Girl, what kind of hustle are you trying to run here? Emery Flowers sell for like 14 K. They take a whole year to grow. Damn. What's the prize list, child? Here's a list of the prizes you can get if you win. This girl is going to make way more money on this hustle than Karina is making her shop. Char, help me get them ready. One fresh veggie and bread. Two wins. Shara's pick flower seeds. Three special elixir. Farm tools grandpa gave me. Five wins. Super secret prize. Got that? Let's get rocking and scissoring and papering. Never mind. Aw, oh, you don't wanna. I'm gonna save first. This is like that thing in Digimon World. <laughs> yeah. 
I do want to, I, I do think as we get into winter, I do want to play Digimon World 1 again. People have been recommending me a mod that fixes some of the jank in that. Oh, oh not you. All right, child, I'll play your game. One round of rock, paper, scissors will be 500G. We'll keep going until I win. Okie dokie, if we tie, we go again. You lose, that's it. You win a lot, I'll give you a neat prize. You want to play? Sure. Okay, let's go. Rock. Scissors. Ah, boo, losing's no fun. Let's do it again. Rock. Scissors. Ah, boo, losing's no fun. Scissors. Paper. Ah, boo. Rock. Rock. One more time. Paper. Paper. Rock. Paper! <laughs> I win. Okay, number of times you beat me was three, so that means you get Formula C. Let me know if you want to play again. I won't say no to beefing up my allowance. Brat. You're gonna get a rock, scissors, paper smackdown, though. Just warning you. Well, I got this. It's Hazel selling. Hey, Mika, how you doing? Hello. Step right up. We got plenty of rare golden veggies on sale today, and they're dazzling and delicious. Oh, jeez. Three golden pumpkin seeds. Three golden turnip seeds. These don't cost very much. Thank you for this up there, friend. The, the actual vegetables cost a lot, but the seeds are a steal. I'll probably never use these, but... Good choice. Thank you kindly. Three golden turnip seeds, yeah. Good choice. Okay. Let me go store some stuff in my house while I can. You know, all the seeds I'm never going to use are really important here. I could really take these out and, like, sell them or something. They're just taking up space. Make sure I eat some of it, too. Oh, yeah. Refreshing cold OJ. Might be able to flip those seeds for a ton after I invest some work, time, and effort into it, of course. Okay, let's go chat with other people here. I can technically go to Karuna today. Nice weather today. Hello. Welcome to Ruska's Sweet Shop. Can I get you anything? Chocolate cake, chocolate cookies. $13.30 for a single cookie? Bro, this isn't a bake sale. This is a freaking bankruptcy sale. Get out of here. I'm back soon. No, thank you. Welcome to Colette's Cookery. What can I get you? Baked onigiri, curry rice. Only 90 for this, honestly. Sure. There you go. Why does everyone throw it on the ground? Oh, hello, Mika. Care to try a potion? Hello. Good to see you. Could you bring me a tanuki leaf? I'll trade you a heavy spice for it. Uh, are you sure? Yes. Wait, you don't even have a tanuki leaf. Well, then, I guess you aren't getting the heavy spice. Nice try, bucko. A huge lion-looking brute came by and scarfed down the salted char. Yeah, yeah, I'll deal with that thing when I'm high enough level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Pizza. Pizza! Dang, that's a really expensive juice right there. What does this freaking juice do for me? Please come again soon. Come again. Welcome! Baked apple, fruit juice, ultimate curry, heavy spice. So I have to trade the heavy spice for the ultimate curry. I see. see Alrighty, see you later. Mika, somebody ransacked the restaurant. I know. Welcome. Open up that wallet and let's get spending, baby. Disastrous dish. Wait, 1,000 for garbage food? What kind of restaurant you running here? Tanuki leaf and dragon bones. Just, just, just dragon bones, you know. <laughs> These are all kind of expensive. And do you know how hard it was to get my hands on such primo inventory? You're lucky I'm offering everything for such a steal already. 
Here's something for you, Mika. Wait, what? She just threw a cabbage on the ground for me? Why cabbage? Because it was the first thing I grabbed from the shop. If you want something, say so. Hand knit scarf, cute knitting, a sun pendant. Come again. Welcome, selling the ore this year. Surprise, I know. Iron, bronze, silver, gold, platinum. Well, it would have been nice if I could get this from you the other day. Wouldn't it have been so funny if I could have just bought gold from him to give it back to him? If I waited just one more day, I could have. It's a statue of a woman. I'm trying to talk to Sophia. Looks like someone carved something onto it. Lovely outfits and furniture. Evelyn's fashion shop. Sharon's headquarters. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Headquarters. She plan to open more shops? Say, I don't happen to need heavy spice. Do you know if anyone happens to have some? What? Withhold? Wow? <laughs> what? I don't have any spice. Is the game seriously telling me, like, wow, you're not going to give her the spice? Really? Really? Mm-hmm. It's just going to hang on to your, that for yourself, bucko? So but really, I really don't need it. Game is roasting me. The roast is that crap right there. Unpleasant day to you. Hello. Something tasty, something tasty. Welcome. Welcome. What interests you? Arena fire, salmon, lame. I change your mind? Hmm. Oh, Mika, hello. Uh, trading cabbage. Oh, hang on. That's right. I could trade cabbage for a tanuki leaf. Yes. Excellent. A trade well made. Welcome. Welcome. Please take your time. Silent ring, critical ring. Nah, I can't look at the merchandise here. Uh. Oh man, my snack got snatched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Carmen's Paradise, exclusively for the annual flea market. We bra we rebrand as Carmen's Paradise. Step right up and behold paradise. I've reeled in more than a few rarities and oddities in the in the course of everyday fishing, and once a year, for flea market only, I put them all on sale. Simply give me money, and I'll give you a surprise item of equal value in return. Who knows, you may wind up with the bargain of your life. You never know until you try, right? And I know you want to know. I... I gotta regret this, but I need to know. Heck yeah, I knew you'd give it a shot, Mika. Alrighty, I've got three categories of stuff here. You get to pick one. That's it, one and done. So think real hard about which one you want. Real surprises, seafloor, sparklies, bottom of the shore. This is just Carmen's loot box game. Uh, bottle on the shore? Now yeah, these are some seriously rare and interesting finds. It'll be 500G, want it? I'll take it. This is a special deal exclusive to the flea market. All sales are final. Thanks for your patronage. Hope to see you again next year. Girl! <laughs> Here's a fish skeleton. <laughs> she running a scam! I can sell it for most of my money back, at least. <laughs> Unfortunate. I cannot believe the crap I'm seeing. I think that was literally the worst thing you can get. Do you have a tanuki leaf? Heavy spice? Sure. You sure? Yeah. Splendid. That's the last ingredient I needed. Yes, can I pick it up, please? Oh, multiple heavy spice. Let's see... Don't need that. Welcome. Ultimate curry for heavy spice. Sure, I'll trade you ultimate curry for heavy spice. Yeah. Thanks. Now, what's ultimate curry gonna get me? Ooh, it sells for a lot. Perfect in many ways. Halves fire damage. Now, who wants the, the curry? Didn't need these. 
Maybe Sherman would want the curry. Where he at? Oh, there he is. Hmm, something tasty, something tasty. I don't happen... Or, oh, yeah, you wanted this, too. Hand over heavy spice. How oh, are you giving this to me? I appreciate it. Here, a little thank you in return. Keep it. Oh. I got curry rice. I got gold. I got a small crystal, and I can't hold it. I need to ditch some stuff. Throw away something. I have a pink turnip for some reason. That formula thing I'm never gonna use. I could just sell this, oh, actually. Make crops grow faster? Yeah, but I don't care about crops. The small crystal I also could just sell, really. What am I doing? I could also sell that hat Raven gave me. I don't need it. I need to make space is what I need. I don't need this much silver either. I could just ditch that stack for now that away. Sell the fish fossil, because we don't need that no more. Baked onigiri, I'll just eat this. Heck yeah. Now then. Ah, not a cloud in the sky. Hello. Welcome to Daria's Rainbow Raffle. Only one... Oh my god, it's gotcha. More freaking gotcha. One pull, 20 Gs. With a little luck, you'll pull a winning ticket and go home with some random crud. Ahem. Incred incredulously incredible prize. Dig into the box and test your luck. Did you say crud? Yeah, why not? I'll give it a try. That's the spirit. Go on and reach inside. Maybe a tad to the right? Congratulations, you hit the jackpot. Jackpot. Your prize is a rock. Why? Welcome to Dario's Rainbow Raffle. Come on, I'm gonna win big. Right down the middle. Your prize is a rock. No! Come on. Come on! A little left. You hit the jackpot, your prize is a rock. Come on, man! Just rocks? Did you say crud? Pardon me, I said no such thing. You'll find nothing of the sort here, I assure you. There's time and place for bad jokes, my good sir. Every girl in this town either wants to stab me or scam me. And I'm just a big sucker helping all of them out anyway. If I keep pressing the right option... You hit the jackpot, your prize is a can. Come on, I have to get something good from this. She just, like, left her house with her garbage can, and she's like, I'm just gonna dump this on some sucker. I I got silver. Wait a sec, how'd that get in there, Daria? Is it good silver? Not really. I wanted to win something different. That's all I needed to do. Hello, dearie. Hello. I have some items for sale. Um, Vital Gummy for the Royal Curry. Invinceroid Love Potion. Wait, 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 wait. Love Potion. Uh. Are you sure? Sure? Why, thank you. Uh, a medicine loved by all. Give it to someone and they might like you. Heals all status effects and improves resistance. Uh, Love potions are a little bit... No, not a little bit. They're very much morally questionable. I don't think I want to give this to anybody. Am I supposed to trade it for something else, though? It sounds like it might be the case. Oh, I've already chatted with all of you. Hmm. Um, I've already chatted with all of them, yeah. I don't think there's anyone left here. I think I have the curry rice. Invinceroid? You sure? Thank 
You can be invincible or not, but it cures all status effects and provides high resistance. HP 100%. Ooh, okay, look at that. The ultimate potion. I know I can buy emery seed flowers, but I'm not going to put the time in to bother growing them, right? You know I'm not. Um, is that everybody? Anything else I can bother getting here? I'm not even sure. I chatted with the peeps. What about you? Right, you're just buying... Oh, curry rice here. Hang on. Hold up, what was the sell price for the Invinceroid? 4,560. Oh, damn. It is pretty, pretty good, yeah. My walking skill is increased. Hang on, where's Marjorie? She's over here. Vital gummy? You sure? Yeah. Oh, I thought I had that. Never mind. I had two curry rice. Oops. Step right up. No thanks. Come again. Hmm. Well, it looks like that's all that I can do. What about bulletin board? Assistant needed. Looking for someone who can keep a secret, who won't go blabbing to every stranger on the street, who knows how to make me taller. Well, uh, okay. Free food, come and get it. All right, Colette, let's go talk to you. Where's she at again? I just saw her. Uh, is she in the square? <laughs> hey. Maybe she went home. No, she's down there with Mary. With Mary. Did you see what I wrote in the message board? Yeah, I did. What do you need help with? Actually, I, uh, you see I want to get bigger. Yeah, I already knew that. Right. <laughs> I figured I'd start growing one day, but no luck so far. I asked Mary for advice, but she told me to exercise, eat lots, and get plenty of sleep. Why do you want to get larger anyway? So I can be a good chef. I want to be the greatest chef in the world, so I need to get bigger. Huh? Oh, I see. Wait, what? Please, Mika, you've got to help me. I mean, I'd be happy to help. What does this have to do with being a good chef? Thanks. Thank you. But to be honest, um, I don't even really know where to start. Well, let's see. For now, I think you can sell the emery flower seeds alone just for 12.8k. Damn, that's good. Should talk to her. She can't reach the stove top. <laughs> she ain't that tiny. Well, let's see. For now, I think we should try what Mary suggested. Seems like a good place to start. All right, first up is exercise. Let's go to Prevera Echoing Stones and score some apples. Take me to Prevera Echoing Stones. Hang on, where is uh, Shara? She's down there. So welcome. welcome to Shara's Pop-Up Flower Shop. So you're telling me I can pay 50 G for this and then sell and then just immediately flip it for disgusting amounts. Thank you. Take me that. Yeah, yeah, hang on a second. Um, I think you've got that wrong there, but that's still a profit. That's still a profit of 50 G's. Are you sure you're looking at the right right game? Or maybe the emery flower itself. That's fine. She got a big lollipop. We're gonna go help her get taller. There we go. Let me put the dual blades on. There's the apples. Bingo! How do you like them apples? That's one thing to check off. Next on the list is eat lots. You better believe I'm gonna cook my butt off. Don't cook your butt. Ta-da! Apple pie, apple juice, and I whipped up some baked apples just because I could. Well, you practically cooked a whole feast. You exercise lots, you gotta eat just as much to match. Here's to me getting taller. It's snacking time. Munch, scarf. Colette is really serious about this. She's been running around the forest putting her cooking skills to the test. She's even doing her best to eat every... Huh? Crunch, gobble. 
Uh, Colette? Huh? What's up? I, I don't want to alarm you, but... What? Go on, you can tell me. Wasn't this all just what you normally do? Thud. Mika, I I'm just gonna pass out for a while. You can eat the rest. Huh? Oh no, hang on. Are you saying in the original, in the Japanese dialogue, it's not actually about height, it's about her chest size? Th that would not shock me at all. <laughs> that would not shock me at all. <laughs> Are you just guessing? Or is that really what the original script set was uh, script said? Well, I guess that covers the whole get plenty of sleep part. There we go. I I mean she is naturally short. I could see it just being uh the original script was more like it was left ambiguous, but it was clear that they were implying that. Okay. I get I think I get you. Well, I guess that covers the whole get plenty of sleep part. Uh, request complete. Oh! I'm just gonna have her leftovers. I'm gonna eat them. It's mine. Go away, Russ. Let me go sell this stuff. There we go. Well, I haven't played all the games, so I couldn't tell you what the best one is. Gimme. Oh, it's 6pm. That's why the music changed. Apple pie. Oh yeah, I got these cans. And I got scammed out of frickin' Daria's gotcha. I could sell the invincible potion. What do I do with this? I don't even want to use it. Sashimi for what's-her-face. Throw away that OJ. Mmm, bird feather. You can get rid of these. You can just sell the- how much do the seeds go for? 8G? That's eh, nothing, but I don't need it. We'll go ahead and just ditch it. Let's check a request at the other board. Oh, I keep forgetting I need to not be human. Oh, boy. Human. How did you get here? Leave now. Let's see. Wow. I guess she was surprised I was a human. Now I'll be a little sheep. Good, good, evening. good evening. Good evening. Evening. How do you usually spend your time, Karuna? I manage the settlement food stores and make sure the residents are safe and happy. It's tedious work, but it is necessary. Hungry, hungry. Oh, I will take care of Will, too. Uh, gotcha. Bah. Oops, didn't mean to surprise you there. It's nice to meet you. Where's everybody else at? I'm gonna have a chat. Good, good, evening. good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Monsters have feelings and emotions, just like any other creature. Give them treats or items they enjoy, and they'll come to like you. Mm. Oh, you'd need a place specifically designed to house them if you ever'd like to keep one. Yo, Mika. Good evening. Good evening. The other day, I figured I'd go make some friends with a goblin pirate. I wanted to make them my battle partner, you know? So I gave them a quality co a quality cloth. They said there was no, they no way they were going to live in my tent and took off. Talk about rude. Good evening. Oh, what am I doing? Check the owl. Something to eat. Someone, please, I crave sweet... Oh, never mind. Just come as soon as possible. Try this. Probably missed my chance to buy it from Rusk, though. What's up? Um, well, you see, I, uh... Yeah? I want... Um... Come again? Sorry I didn't catch that. Mind speaking up a little? Yeah. I want to eat something sweet, okay? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, what? I wasn't expecting you to shout. You surprised me. Well, you did ask me to speak up. Fair point. Please don't make me repeat myself. Yelling at once was mortifying enough. I just want to take care of this craving. The old sweet tooth has you in a vice grip, huh? Sorry. Sorry, not the best phrasing. So, sweets, huh? I'm sure I can rustle something up. Really? Really? Yeah. 
Ahem, uh, pardon me, that, that, that was unladylike. Then may I ask you this favor, please? Yeah, no problem. Woohoo. Ahem. Are you hankering for anything in particular? Oh, actually... Here. You got a recipe for a sweet potato. D damn it, I gave that away at some point. May I ask you to make a sweet potato for me? Sure thing, I can handle that. I'd rather sooner than later, if possible. What is this, a rush request? Are you that desperate? Muffled shriek. I'll get right on it then. I don't have a sweet potato chillin' in my house, do I? Me. I have a yam. Uh... I think I had one a while ago and I just sold it. I think I need it. Yam is needed to make it. Hang on, what do I use to make it? A knife? I'm not sure what I use to make things here. Let's just have a look. Grilled squid. Grilled crucian car. That's at 100% now. Just make that right quick. Success. Bacon oven. Oh wait, do I not have an oven? I have a steamer. And a pot, but no oven. Hot chocolate! I can make that. I'll have to buy it from Blaze. No problem. I can afford this, I hope. Time to call it a day. <sighs> Chef Teddy can do it tomorrow, don't worry. It's so nice out today. Alrighty, let's go. Famous last word. Now shut up now. You you don't say that to me. You don't say that to me. Oven should be 10k. Oh, can I not afford the oven? Oh, I got half that. Or, wait, no, I have 53k. What am I looking at? Never mind. Even so, let me just throw some stuff in the bin while I can. Maybe make some extra room. Throw away some of this excess stuff I'm not using. I got extra cabbages. I don't need these, really, either. Why would I sell the cucumbers when I could just sell their seeds? Do that. Toss that stuff away. Get this off my field, we don't need them. Now is Blaze gonna be open now? A little funny effect of ever the stack teetering. Yeah, it is funny. Good morning! Welcome. Welcome. I want cookware. Looks like you already bought it the beginner cookware, advanced cookware, oven. Yeah. Then I'll arrange to have it delivered to your house. I want to expand my fridge. Ooh. 30k? I'm not ready to drop that right now. Bro, fridges are more expensive in this world than they are the real world, for sure. And they're already stupid expensive. Good morning. Good morning. Mika, you won't believe this. Mary had me take a potion she swore was perfect for me. You don't sound happy about it, so I'm assuming it was anything but perfect. Oh, yeah, it ended up paralyzing me. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't be happy about that either. The least she could do is make it taste good. So you drink a paralysis potion if it tasted good? Yeah, that's the takeaway I'm getting from this. The oven can be challenging. Just put things in a hot box. That's all you're doing. Toast? Sweet potato. Oh, look at that. I'm the perfect level. A slow roasted sweet potato, often cooked in bonfires in autumn. Put yam in oven for sweet potato. That's how it works. Gimme. I can make more. Do I have got the sweet potato on me now? Where, where? There it is. Okay. Let's go give it to her. Yeah. 
just how cooking works. I don't know what you're all talking about. This makes perfect sense. Here you go, one sweet potato. Give it here, please. I hope it uh, meets your exacting criteria. Thank you. It does, thank you. You know, it wasn't that long ago that my carelessness got you injured in my stead. In light of that, I'm surprised you'd be willing to go this far for me. Oh, come on, it wasn't any big ask. I'm not sure how I can thank you. This isn't much, but I hope you like it. Thank you. I appreciate it. Still, I didn't know you were that much of a sugar fiend. <laughs> sugar fiend. Mm -hmm. But what's wrong with that? I didn't say anything was. In fact, it's kind of cute. <laughs> Don't tease me, please. Oh, sorry. Besides, sweets can be do a body good. They're especially good for perking you up when you feel tired. Though moderation is key, mind you. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> true. Well then, I'll see you later. Yes, thank you again. And remember, moderation. You didn't need to add that last part. Woohoo! Devoured that baked potato. You were craving it that much, huh? Oh, cooking bread! Alright, I learned how to make rolled eggs. I learned how to make curry udon. I learned how to make fried udon. Imagine if eating the cooking bread also gave you cooking experience. I wonder if that'd be good to do, good to implement. Learn how to make steamed bread. Meh. Meh. Learn how to make rice porridge. Grilled needlefish. Meh. Meh. Okay, now let's go do some requests for my other people. The little sheep sounds are adorable, aren't they? I haven't really done much leveling today, so I'm not probably not going to beat that boss. There's a bother. Can't do this. Can't do this. Uh, could you come and help out the shop? I'm short, uh, short staffed. This one probably unlocked because I did that event with Karina. I've been putting this off for an eternity, but let's go ha help Hazel. I'm curious what'll happen here. Let's go save. If she asks me to cook something, I'm throwing my controller. Excuse me, sir. Could you help me make some ketchup? Oops, sorry. You need to stay up for 70 hours learning to cook to make ketchup. It's raining. Morning. This weather sucks. May as well sleep it off. Morning. Good morning. Raven and I always seem to tick off customers. Why do you think that is? Your attitudes. Your expressions. I want to tick people off, too. Huh. I didn't know you have a thing for that. I can kind of get where you're coming from, though. There you are, Mika. Can you give me a hand? I sent Karina out to do some errands, so I'm short-staffed right now. Sure, I don't mind. I need you to restock my shelves that are looking bare. I'll handle the customers. I'm on it. Well then. No customers so far, huh? What are you writing over there, Hazel? Oh, this? I'm just dealing with paperwork, checking letters, reading customer complaints. It takes a lot of time to go through all this stuff. Who leaves complaints in medieval fantasy land? Who takes the time to be like, the, the service here is terrible. One star. It takes a lot of time to go through all this stuff. You think I sit around going through complaints? Actually, no, that's just, that's just reading the YouTube comments section. What am I talking about? <laughs> I do exactly that. Yeah, that sounds like a lot of work. Thanks for helping me out. It's not medieval fantasy, there's blenders. Oh yeah, you're right. Can't argue with that. <laughs> you're questioning who would have time to leave a complaint about Karina. <laughs> you're right, all the complaints would be about her. Thanks for helping out, Mika. No need to thank me, I'm not even done with my shift yet. The shift I'm not getting paid for, by the way. Sorry, that was just an excuse to get you over here. We actually don't ha have that many customers, as you've no doubt figured out yourself by now. The stuff that you and the other townspeople bring in is the only reason this place stays afloat. That's not true. I'm sure... I wasn't thanking you for that, though. I'm referring to Karina. She wants to leave for the city since she thinks running the shop's not worth the hassle, right? Huh? 
you knew? I mean, I am her mother, after all. Parents are usually tuned into what their kids are thinking, even if they don't say it aloud. Really? Darn straight. See, Karina doesn't usually complain out loud. She usually complains in the little brackets beneath all her dialogue. But I can tell she's stewing on the inside about every little thing. Goodness knows where she picked that up to that bad habit. Yeah, I, uh, I think I picked up on that a bit, too. Thing is, I'm worried she turned out this way because of me. What do you mean? When she was little, the shop ate up all my time. I barely had anything left to give her. Before long, she just stopped bothering to complain out loud, period. I think, in her own way, she's trying to keep from adding to my troubles. Oh no, she she wanted me to work a retail shift, and now she just wants me to play therapist. Oh no. I've seen a change since she started hanging out with you, though. I mean, look at what happened recently. She spent most of her life doing as little as possible, and then all of a sudden she wants to open her own shop. Okay, yeah, it was a bust, but still. I was absolutely over the moon, Hazel. So I just wanted to say... Thanks, Mika. You got a diamond. All right, that's it for your shift. Already? Yep, that's all I needed you for. Your job's done. And there's your payment for the day. Wow, slick and shrewd. You're talented at this. A okay, a diamond is pretty worth it. I wouldn't be running a business if I wasn't. Now go on and get out of here, you scamp. Oh yeah, and Mika. <laughs> Keep watching out for Karina, would you? Yeah, for sure. Don't think I'm dating her, though. I guess now it's too late to feel sad about losing her. Who said I was dating her? What am I gonna do? You think I wanna marry a girl who just sits around and takes my shiny rocks? I ain't gonna do that. I worked hard for those shiny rocks. Oh, right. I already did this. It's, um... The bulletin board I gotta go to. At these heart levels, it's, pr it's assumed now that the family members think you're dating them. Oh, they're gonna be disappointed. Jara, Colette, Karina. Pia's at eight? Dang, I didn't realize she liked me that much. We've barely been on a date. Sophia, Sakia, Carmen, Raven, Wells. I don't like you either, Wells. How about that? Who is it low with Carlos? Karina's at four. Really? They change after level five. Okay. Still only goes up to ten. Zade, whatever. You're terrible. You always die. Daria's at six. Uh, seeking, seeking collaborator. It's whatever. This is an emergency. I don't want to see what happens when I go to... Wait, no. This is the one where, I, where she wants me to help with the birds, right? Yeah, this is the one I failed because I couldn't get them fast enough. So let's do this one. Marion. Let's go see what Witch Girl is up to. Maybe Colette will come by and probably get killed. Marion's gonna uh, make me do a request, and it's gonna be about where to hide Colette's body. Ah, uh, Mika, I was waiting for you. Let me guess, another potentially deadly potion you need someone to drink for you? Nope, this potion is nothing of the sort. It's unlike anything I've ever made before. In fact, even Granny gave it her seal of approval. She did? I, I guess that's some reassurance, at least. But I'm still gonna pass. I figured as much, but you're not in any kind of rush, are you? Stay and have some tea. Oh no, I'm not falling for that. I'm not drinking the BDSM potion again. Thanks. Oh, don't mind if I do. Never mind. Mika's an idiot. <laughs> Wait a second! We're off to find test subjects, my faithful assistant. God dang it, I got bamboozled again. With play- oh no. Alright, well then, I better wet my whistle and get this over with. With pleasure. Oh, it's kicked in already! The what? You thought I was joking. You thought I was joking. 
According to Granny, my potions have, and I quote, a wild degree of variation and efficiency. That's no compliment to brag about, Star. Well, I have to do what she says, I guess. I can also cancel the request. By that, I just, I guess I just take a piss and let it pass through my system. Let me get a drink here. Whoa. Good evening, Mika. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey there, Soaps. What's shaking? Oh god, I have dialogue for everybody? Oh my god. <laughs> Quick question for anyone out there named Sophia. If anyone calls you Soaps, how badly do you want to punch them in the gut? Because I feel like I, I'd want to hit someone if they called me that. <laughs> hey there, Soaps. What's shaking, Star? <laughs> Well, you look particularly sane today, Mika. What happened? He's just acting as my assistant, that's all. Uh, Marion. Sophia, my buddy, my pal. You get to undergo my special treatment too, she says with an epin trained honor. <laughs> Great, I've always wanted to be treated by you. Oh, I knew you'd work with me, Sophia. Right, let's get, the, let, let's get to it then. Yes, I love shots. <laughs> Then you'll be perfectly fine with this. I'm fine. Did you hear me? I said yes. Huh? And go. Bang, bang. Oh. Excellent. Now to find our next prey. I mean, patient. Huh? huh? It's over already? <laughs> She's not terrified. Oh, no. <laughs> Wait, no one in, is in town except Pia outside. Because oh, she's mermaid and it's raining. That's right. Hey there, Mika. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Pia. Oh, Marion, and you're here too. Mika, what are you two doing together? Well, actually... <laughs> oh, I know. You're here to pick my brain about baths, aren't you? First tip. Nothing feels better than starting your day with a good soak. That's not... But going in at night isn't a bad idea if you want to warm up. I didn't. Then when's the bath time to get in the bath? When, I say. Okay, all done here. Huh? What? Even Marion doesn't want to put up with this. Hey, hey there. Hey there, Mika. Noon already? Hello. Hello. Achoo. <laughs> oh, you're sick. Haha, <laughs> yeah, I was so absorbed in my fishing, I completely lost track of time until it was pitch black. Target acquired. Huh? Jabbed. <laughs> what did you do that for? I'm pretty sure th I'm. this is like all sorts of crimes with Marion right now. What was that for? Alrighty, next. Huh? Nothing's happening. I'm just going around town and infecting everyone with something. Hey there, brother. Hello. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the Carlos Resort, where the fish are always nibbling, blah, blah, blah. Hello, Carlos. Hello, Mika. Who's that behind you? Ah, oh, Marion. You're mine now. Oh! Hey, what kind of messed up medicine did you stick me with? Huh? Welcome. Uh, nothing's happening. Wait, no, that can't be right. What the heck was that? Next. Everyone's gonna die. We're all gonna die, chat. It's gonna be Marion's fault. Hello, Hello Mika. Hello. Hello. What? Hmm? What? what? <laughs> oh, nothing. I was just thinking about how do how adorable you are. <laughs> just imagining Mika in his, like, star dialogue. The way he probably, like, enunciated that to her. Where did that come from? Wide open! Ah! It didn't hurt. On to the next target. I mean subject. I mean patient. Splendid. That should be a sufficient amount of samples. We can head back to the apothecary when you're ready. Hang on. Now I want to see what happens when I talk to everybody. <laughs> we, we need to see what happens. I, I'm never going to get this chance again. I'm sickened, but curious. Hello. Hello. Hey, Mika, what's up? You look a little different today. Oh, no, nothing weird here. I'm the same Mika you know and love. Gaius. Oh, you got Marion with you. Come to think of it, you two have been spending a lot of time together lately. Huh? Oh, yeah, um, I guess so. 
Not that there's anything I was gonna say about that. Anyway, I'll catch you later. Yeah, yeah, you see ya. Take care. Are you sure you didn't need to give him treatment? Oops, crap. Splendid, this should be a sufficient amount. No, 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 no. I'm sickened, but curious. <sighs> I'm not gonna like this, but fine. Hi, Hi Mika. Hello. Hello. Monica! No. Mary, what are you doing here? You poor thing, you're pale. Yep, you sure are, definitely pale. Good thing I got this special nutrition pill handy here. Say, ah. Uh, no! I don't wanna. Aha! That was a diversion! Huh? Wait, I don't feel anything. <laughs> oh, she fired another syringe, I guess. She's like, she's got like a tranquilizer gun, I imagine. Next. Oopsie. Ugh, oh, the rain makes my, makes my poor joints creep. Hello? Why, hello there, Wells! Can I help you? And why the unnatural smile? It's disconcerting. Now. Huh? What are you doing? You dodged? Ha! Should have expected you'd be quick enough to elude my grasp, you fiery old timer, you. What are you brats doing? Healing you. Well, that's the intent, at least. Hello. Welcome. Oh, hello. Can I do something for you? Hello. Hey there, Shara. Uh, hi, Marion. Do you need something? Whoa there, you look dazed. You must be sick. A cold? Yep, that's 100% what this is. Huh? I'm not. Shh, just let the medical professionals handle this, all right? Handle what, Mika? I'm so confused. And one and two. Ow! Actually, I don't feel anything. Right? Off to find our next sample. We're just going around town. We're gonna wake up tomorrow and everyone's gonna be like a zombie. Hello, welcome. You don't look so hot, Hazel. Oh, so much pain. So much to do. Nothing worse than putting up with literal and figurative headaches at the same time. Looks like you're in need of a relief. Uh, relief. Stat. Exactamundo. Arian, why are you... The methods don't matter as long as you feel better. That doesn't sound like something a doctor should say. Not a legitimate one, anyway. Let go of me, Mika. Oh god, this is horrible. <laughs> Ready to feel a million times better? Ugh. Huh? All right, on to the next one. Splendid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sleepy. I spy, with my little eye, a yawn. That can only mean one thing. Marion, there's clearly something wrong with the patient. Cranial entropy, perhaps caused by her chronic laziness, her brain's turning into soup. Now go, Mika. Ready and willing. Hey, hey, getting awfully close, aren't you? You might feel a little pinch. Ah, ah, ah. Nothing's happening. Hard to believe, given Marion's concoctions. Okay, on to the next one. Splendid, splendid, yeah, yeah, yeah. This whole town is gonna die. And I'm too amused to stop doing this. Oh, hang on, I should go see Daria. Can't forget about her. Oh, rain, you know what comes after rain? Rainbows. Hello, Daria. Well, well, sidekick, you're looking extra rainbow-tacular today. But just out of curiosity, what's that syringe you're holding? I'm t not terribly fond of needles, I should note. Really? That's too bad. It's a rainbow shot and everything. Rainbow. Inject me with rainbow. <laughs> Is that all I needed to say? Hmm. 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 Don't worry. I got rainbows right here. I'll inject it into you. Oh, really? Give me some of that. Well, she is an artist. Inject me with rainbows. You insist. Huh? Wait, no, no. I take it back. Don't poke. Don't poke. Ah! Oh, wait, what? Uh, no, that's weird. Why didn't... Didn't... Did I level up when I wasn't looking? Next. Splendid, splendid, splendid. I already talked to Pia. Um, did all this here. 
stop by here. Hiya, Colette. It's been a while. Mika? Oh no, I got a bad feeling about this. Wh wh why do you have a, such a tight grip on my shoulders? Colette? Mary, what are you doing here? <laughs> to provide treatment to everyone in town, of course, whether they want it or not. I wouldn't call that treatment. And why aren't you letting me go, Mika? No. No, it can't be. Like I said, it's been a while since we've done this. No! Hold still. You may feel a little poke. Oh! Ah, nothing happened. This is one of these moments where someone will hop in the stream and um, wonder what the hell I'm doing. The only way I could make this worse is if I activated swimsuit mode. On to the next one. What just happened? I apologize to all the people listening to this over a microphone or speakers rather than headphones and everyone's wondering what the hell you're listening to. What the hell am I doing? I'm curious. I need all the dialogue options of this. I'm doing it for science. For the content. Okay. This is... This part is actually worse than the original translation. <laughs> is it really? What, what did they do for this before? Nice weather today. Hello. Hello. Got a second rusk? Marion and Mika together. Marion, we got a ton of tomatoes back at our place. Can't stand the thing, so why don't you take some off her hands? Huh? What, what? Dad's old mentor has sent us a few boxes of the stuff. And these are some big boxes we're talking here. We got mountains of tomatoes. Why don't you take an a armful back to Marjorie? Mountains of tomatoes? Dad's made gallons of juice of them. Imagine the... Stop, I'm begging you. You could even stew a bunch of them nice and slow. La 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 la, I can't hear you, not another word. I never want to hear the word tomato for the rest of my life. Damn, Rusk knows what he's doing here. He's ready, he's he's watched Colette be like, like destroyed by Mary and he's just like, I know what to do. He knows how to keep her off. It's a threat. Tomato for the rest of my life. Wait a second, but Marjorie wants me to bring ketchup to dinner. Is, is Mary gonna hate me for that? Splendid. This should be sufficient enough. Well, then. Welcome. Welcome. Do you have a second, Blaze? Oh, Mika, I see Marion's with you. I just finished making some sandwiches. Would you like some? Sandwiches? I even whipped up some salad to go with it. I made sure to add lots of tomatoes. Oh, he knows, too! <laughs> he knows! Maybe he should uh, teach his daughter this, too. Rusk, <laughs> I understand not caring, but you should probably do this, too. I made sure to add lots of tomatoes as well, just to make it extra healthy. Fall back. Retreat. Retreat! Blaze ain't no... ain't no fool. He knows what he's doing. Is she stuck on the counter? Marion, are you okay? She's trying her best. Hello there, Mika. Welcome. Welcome. Well, if it isn't Mika and Marion, to what do I owe the pleasure? There's something we need your help with, Shino. Is that so? You wouldn't be ha wouldn't happen to be thinking about forcing an injection on me now, would you? Marion. Well, Marion. Huh? Of course we're gonna. You wouldn't, right? No, ma'am. We would. They would never find the bodies if Shino. If um. If we did that to Shino, our bodies would never be, fa be found. Excellent. I already talked to Sophia. Evelyn and Sherman are next. An unpleasant, day unpleasant day to you. Hello. Hello. Ooh hoo, Mika and Mad Scientist. The two of you are looking awfully miserable to be sharing company today. Do you need something? Mika, use this. Here's a little something fun for you. Why, my gracious, if it isn't my most despised grilled sand flounder. Since you're so kind to offer up the hatch it goes. Oh, it's going down the hatch, all right. Next. Oh, that worked. Hello, Hello Mika. Hello. 
Hello. My hello, Mika. Marion, let me guess, the two of you are on a date? Huh? Nowhere. You bet we are, Missy. What? Ooh, color me envious. Well, far be it from me to interrupt you, then. I'll be on my way. Hey, uh, uh wait a second. Uh, Mika? Whoopsie, guess she got away, Star. Ah! All right, who have I not spoken to yet? I don't think you can talk to Marjorie, because she's probably waiting to scold her inside, um, the building. Let me go back. I haven't found Sakia. You're right. You're right. She's the only person left in town. How many of you are dying of cringe watching this right now? Hopefully a lot. Uh, where is Sakia at? I don't actually know where the hell she is. Chad is informing me, informing me that all of them are dying of cringe at the moment. You don't know what's going on? Exactly, I told you, chat. People are gonna hop in and think I'm- this is weird as hell. Where are you, girl? I don't know Sakiya's schedule. Did she, like, go somewhere? Sakiya sometimes visits the seasonal date spots. Okay. She's probably looking for stuff to sell. Let's just pop in and see, then. Wait, I would be able to see her on the dungeon map if I did this, right? Wait, why is there a crystal over here? Sometimes you can find items even if it looked like there was nothing there at all. Okay, just you. Oops, what am I doing? What am I up here? Nope. Guess we'll check the forest? Oh, she's at- yeah, she's over here. Hi there, Mika. Hello. Hello. Hmm? What's with you, Mika? Hi, hi. Just thought I'd come introduce you to an amazing doctor if you're game. You mean like some kind of celebrity? See, Marjorie won't make me extra medicine to stock the store. You think your secret celeb will? I'll make as much as you want. Marion? Shots away. Oh! Huh? Splendid. This should be sufficient. I don't know why, but something feels weird. We've infected everyone with the Lost Plagas. Tomorrow we're gonna wake up and this is gonna be like the Resident Evil 4 village. She's stuck again. Well, let's go back to the place. Alright, that should wrap things up for today. Oh, but first, some celebratory tea. Is this the anti-BDSM potion? Thanks. Man, I have really got to stop falling for that. If you were as eager to aid the advance of medicine as any other upstanding forward-thinking member of society, that wouldn't be necessary. And I wouldn't expect an upstanding forward-thinking doctor to spike her guest's drinks and refer to her patients as test subjects. Anyway, you're in this for the long haul. You'll be my faithful assistant until I have my results. And when can I expect these results exactly? Aww. Well, this potion was a particularly weak one, so... I'd say repeated doses for the next 30 days or so should do it. How is that any faster than a body's natural healing? Well, you know what they say, a journey of a thousand doses begins with a single sip. Uh, optimism is a virtue, I guess. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Here, appropriate compensation for services rendered. Nothing about this is appropriate, you know. Come by and help again. In one ear and out the other. What do I get for this? A magic ring. It's fine. I have better accessories, though, right? Yeah. Could sell it for 912. It's over. 
Come by and help again. Hello. Hello. What brings you in? Chat. Did you know that Blaze isn't particularly fond of wine? Some years ago, Wells had a few drinks of the stuff too many and cornered Blaze into trying some. Oh, to think of what became of things. What happened exactly? Oh, ho ho! That is not an answer. I can't imagine that man drunk. Well, did I do everything here? Yeah, I did. Don't think there's anything else I can really do over this one. These are both regular-ass requests, so no need to do them. What a lovely day we're having. The sun's rays feel so pleasant. Hello. How long has the Sharon's tree been around? Who can say? Even we don't know for certain. It's ancient enough that its existence dates back beyond our oldest records. Hello. This may be a stark, empty corner of the world, but our starry skies are a sight to behold. Yo, yo. Yo, Mika. What are you tinkering with that weapon for? Never know when you'll need one. It pays to keep your weapon sharp and keep yourself even sharper. That's why I always make sure my good buddy Sunderer is ready to go at a moment's notice. Wait, what is that? Is that what the weapon's called? You don't get it, do you? Get what? How can you put your life in the hands of a partner if you don't even know their name? Is that how it works? Duh, you didn't know that much? Sheesh, no wonder you're so weak. Oh boy. Been a long stream, yeah. Five hours total so far. No problem. Go for this for a little bit longer. And then I'm gonna probably call it a night. I'll be back again tomorrow for sure, don't worry. Uh, sell the grilled cru crucian car. I did want to sell those rocks, though. Hang on. Can I cook anything? Not here at the moment. Squid sashimi. I'm trying making the skipjack for increase my cooking skill quite a bit. I'm gonna go for it. I did it. Ah, didn't quite get myself what I needed there. Make a save. Oh, hang on. Karuna does like hot chocolate. I could... Hang on. Let's make some hot cocoa. And give her some. Everyone likes hot cocoa. Probably. Hey. Raven and I always seem to tick off customers, your expressions. So you're saying we come off as prickly? Ah, uh, hard to say. Everyone likes some hot cocoa? You can have some too. Hot chocolate? For me? Yes. I'm glad you like it. Uh, th thank you for the considerate present. There, how'd that work for you? It's at, she's at five now. You happy? There you go. Now. Is there a holiday coming up again? No, there's no holidays until like, wow, quite a while actually. Why is there a little line through this particular day though? It's weird. Probably just because it's the current date, I imagine. <sighs> Let's go to bed. Let's do at least, like, one more day. After that, I'll definitely have, like, a four-hour-plus VOD of this to upload to YouTube. Ooh. Uh, get some money next time. For now, we're having fun with events. More souvenirs. Simple, simple. Darn. I guess I could do this one, finally. This is the only one that's really an event. We're gonna go see Evelyn in a little bit when she wakes up. First, I should go ahead and... Hmm, beat up some enemies right quick. I am about to level up, after all. And her house is right there. 
There's no way to expand the bag size. Take that, turtle. Okay, I got one level. See if you guys could drop some eggs for me. Nope. Nice. You can use this to cook a little bit, too. Wind crystal. Sell it. I've mostly been doing events this section, uh, this session, but there definitely will, I definitely will want to get some levels, because I feel like the enemy, or the boss of this area is pretty tough. This game is short, but I'm really taking my time with it. It's kind of just nice to turn on and enjoy the events with chat. They're the perfect amount of quirky and just a little hint of cringe in there, too. Old anime cringe. Okay. Geez, these guys are giving a good chunk. I probably at the point I could beat up some of the winter area monsters for fast experience. Okay, I got my skill up. Let's go see her now. What do you think? Eh, it's not bad. I'm thinking of adding a faux fur trim there as an accent. <laughs> Can't wait for me to get to Rune Factory 4's events. They're handled totally differently. Oh, we will eventually. I know I say that for a lot of games, but I mean it. Ooh, that could work. <laughs> right? And perhaps here and there. Excuse me. Huh? Oh, Mika, what are you doing here? I asked him to come. Mika, I have some materials I'd like you to fetch, if you don't mind. Will you be so kind? Sure thing, what do you need? Lumber. Say, three pieces or so. Uh, lumber for clothing? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's faux fur. Isn't it obvious? Yes. It's for faux fur, of, cur of course. Oh, gotcha. Well, that's what you want. Sure thing, milady. That'd be sweet of you. Oh, could you also see Marion and pick up some odd ore? You got it? Well, let's go see Marion first. Gimme, gimme, gimme. I'm here to chat. What's wrong? Are you sick? I'm fine. Evelyn asked me to come pick something up for her. Gotcha. So you want a potion or a shot? Ooh, don't tell me. I know you're here for the shot. No, no, no. We did that yesterday. No, no, and no. Oh, how about a suppository? I'm not sick. Evelyn asked me to come pick up some odd ore from you. You're not... Oh, you're not? Why didn't you say so? Got my hopes up for nothing. I did say so, repeatedly. Odd ore, hmm? I'll have some of that, sure. What's she using it for, anyway? No idea. She asked me to get lumber for her as well. She said something about clothing materials. I think she mentioned faux fur? Ah, interesting. Uh, you know about it? That I do. Faux fur is exactly what it sounds like. A synthetic replica of animal fur. Didn't they say, she say it as fur is F-I-R, though? Did that, was that a spelling mistake? Or is this, like, a joke they're making? I think I read somewhere there's a technique for extracting fibers from lumber to make it make the fur. Oh, that explains the lumber, then. Though I doubt you can find the equipment for that process this far out in the countryside. Maybe that's why she's asking for the ore, then. Maybe. Anyway, if anything happens, you come straight to me, okay? Oh, I hit the X button to pop this out. I just noticed Mary has, um, a little... What is that supposed to be, like a belt? It's just a piece of cloth tied around her waist. I'll keep my syringes sharp and jabby. Believe me, I'll keep my fingers crossed. Oh, hold up, I didn't pick it up. What? Um, wait. Did, hang on, did I not get it from her? Did she just drop it on the ground and it despawns? Tell me that didn't just happen. <sighs> How do I get it then? So I just have to redo the quest now? Oh, that's lame. Ugh. 
I didn't think it was a real item. I thought it was like a piece of text item, if that makes sense. Oh, well, that sucks. So I just can't do it now? That's lame. I have to restart it. <laughs> Hang on. It's from my, uh... Something you want to see, you probably don't need to see it. In fact, you probably don't have seen it, but you really want to see you come see me now. I guess I'll just do this and end the day so we can immediately try again. Where's Sophie at? Let's see if I can get the birds today. Hold up. What's the button for... No, that's that. Okay, our button's the walk button. Let me pick up a bird first okay. before I start it. There we go. Hello. Good day. What horrendous weather Hello. we're having. Mika, there's nothing afoot. Come again? I said there's nothing afoot. That's the opposite, right? You mean there's trouble? That's right. No. So what's wrong? I saw a dish sitting out on the table, was feeling peckish, so I ate it. Some food Papa set aside for himself. Okay, did you apologize? I couldn't possibly do something that calming. Wait, what? Calming, as in splatter, chainsaws, visits to Marion. Okay, you mean scary. Wait, what's Marion have to do with? Anyway, what I surreptitiously... Slurp down was a legendary soup socially or specially prepared by Papa by our local three-star chef. Then can't you ask Blaze to make another bowl? To remake it, he says he requires a certain number of birds. More specifically, the saliva they drool as they make their nests. I am so sorry I asked. So, Mika, can I ask you to collect three birds by 1 p.m.? It's kind of a tight time frame. That's why I told you to arrive late in the request. Didn't you read it? Fair. <laughs> What time is it again? Ten. Okay. Let's do it quickly, then. I can do this. Let's bring her another one. Just walk. Just walk. You got it. Mika is far too nice to everyone. Yes, he is. Thank you, Mika. Looks like we'll be, uh, we'll be in the nick of time. I knew I was wrong to come to you. You're welcome. Oh, here, a reward for you. I won't be in touch if something like this happens again. Count on it. Sure thing. Later. Uh, wow, people can really, uh, acclimate to just about anything. Cheese! Yogurt. I love getting stacks of cheese and yogurt. Okay. Well, I wanted to do one more day of requests, but now that I botched that, I'm just gonna go to bed. Oh, wait, what? What is this here? A rare stone that absorbs all surrounding light. Is this supposed to be for the quest? It teleported to my... It teleported to my bed? <laughs> A rare stone that absorbs all surrounding light, often used to blot out the world when darkness is preferred. but I already canceled the request. Well, this is uh, annoying. Well, let's try and do the quest tomorrow then. I'm just going to bed early. I'm a big boy, I deserve a break. All right. What was I doing again? It's raining and 6 a.m. If you please. There. There. Let's go get her. I learned how to sleep super well now. Now I just need to wait for Evelyn to wake up. Wait, no. I sh there should be a cutscene as soon as I walk in, right? Really? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> what are you doing here? And now I need to get her to lumber. Just give her this, I guess. 
Thank you. All I need now is three lumber. Well, that's weird. Okay, hey look, three pieces of lumber just chilling right here for me. I said three pieces of lumber chilling right here. Can I hit it? Gimme. Okay, let's go give the lady some wood. And then we can move on with our day. And I guess I'll get to do one more request from the bulletin board, if there even is anything to do. I feel like I need to get more hearts with people to move to advance it. Or level up my cooking. Excellent. That's all the material I require. Thank you. No problem. Hope the outfit turns out well. It ought to. All I have to do is cut these into appropriately sized chunks, sew them on here and there, and voila, it'll be complete. Huh? What's wrong? You're making a funny face. And nothing, I... You're really gonna use the, that stuff pretty much as is? Of course! It's important to me that I showcase the natural beauty of my materials. But didn't you say you wanted faux fur? I thought you were gonna use it in place of, you know, real fur. Why ever would I do that? I wanted to... If I wanted to use fur, I would have asked you to bring me some. Oh, that'll teach me to mix up my homonyms. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for your assistance today. This isn't much, but please take it. Ooh, 10,000 G! Evelyn, uh, actually, like, worth working for. I'll be sure to let you know if I need your help again. Uh, sure. Alrighty then. Yay. I gotta do requests for other people to advance other people too, I know. Something you wanna see. Accidentally de ate all our snacks. Accidentally. This one I can't do without, like, higher cooking. These ones are just repeatable when they say disciplinary or simple. So I guess this is the only one I can do. Next time, I'll see if I can focus on increasing my level to beat the boss, as well as um, increasing my cooking more so I can finally get over the hurdle that is the omelet and ketchup. Good morning, Mika. Good morning. Good morning. Evelyn is shaping up to be the perfect rival. Wait, you two are rivals? Of course, her outfits are magnificently artistic. She has downright intimidating talent. Maybe I should take her in as my apprentice. Run, Evelyn. Run as fast as you can and don't look back. Okay, that was a long call for Mr. Rude Boy. Um, right, we're going to see Sakia. Gonna wrap up, wrap, uh, wrap it up for the night very shortly. Morning. Nothing hurts sales more than rain. Morning. Morning. Welcome. Welcome to Sakia Souvenirs. Chat. There you are, Mika. I was waiting for you to show up. Is this about what you posted on the message board? <laughs> yep. You ready to go, Pia? Yeah. yeah, I'm all set. Good. Come this way with us for a second. Wouldn't want to bother the customers. Huh? Uh, okay, sure. All right. Then here we go. Right? Ahem. Thank you all for coming out today, ladies and gents. Uh, what? Just kick up your feet, relax, and enjoy the show. More fins for our fishy friends. Our routine should leave them gasping for air, but not like that. Then I'll start singing. What's that got to do with it? You said you liked my singing. Pia, you need to stick to the script. Yeah, these comedy routines are lost in translation hell, from what I understand. Oh, right. This is, um, a st st starfish routine. It's stand-up. <laughs> is this part of the act? The inn doesn't really have anything in the way of major selling points, so I was thinking of trying to make us famous for stand-up. What do you think of the routine? Um... Pretty much the opposite of funny. <laughs> I don't want to be mean! It was definitely a, uh... Routine, alright. Yeah. To be fair, I already knew the answer before I asked. <laughs> if only I had a knack for coming up with better material. Come to think of it, I want to say I heard about some kind of medicine that's supposed to help increase your brain power for stuff like this. Oh, but I appreciate the feedback. I'll let you know when we finish workshopping the act. That means you gotta put in the work too, Pia. No going to Mika for help on this. Okay. But I don't mind helping, really. No means no. 
Okay, okay, got it. I'm worried she might be getting herself into a dangerous situation again if I don't do anything. She said something about medicine. Maybe I should ask an expert on the subject. Expert? What do you mean? Okay, let's go find Marjorie. Not Marion. Good morning. Well, hello there, Mika. Today is the perfect weather for a midday nap. Mm. Um, Marjorie? You yes, what is it? You wouldn't happen to know of a potion that can make someone smarter, would you? It just so happens that I do. Would you like the recipe? Huh? Really? Uh, yes, please. First, a pinch of you must listen to your elders. Next, add an eyeball of think before you act. And maybe I can stop you there and you can throw in a dash of shut up and stop being sarcastic. And finally, a helping armful of learn to put in the effort required to better yourself properly rather than relying on cheap shortcuts. <sighs> um, noted. I deserve that one. <laughs> All right, then. We're asking Mary. Morning. Morning, Mika. Morning. Good morning. Huh? Oh, in the mood for a shot? Or would you like to test one of my potions? <laughs> really need to work on your greetings, but actually you're not that far off this time. Marion, do you know of a potion that'll make someone smarter? Do you mean an intellig intelligencer? I thought I... Or though I guess that doesn't technically make you smarter. What about it? Oh, I was just curious. And if you had this potion, you'd drink it? Well, my... Uh, what are you patting my shoulder for? Of course I'd be happy to have you on board as a volunteer. I'll brew you up that potion in a jiffy. But it's not actually for... Just wait right there. It'll only take a minute. And she's not listening. Oh god, what have I done? Of course. This is gonna happen. And now Marjorie's coming to help. Your potion is complete, Mika. In fact, I brewed us a bulk batch. Are you sure you won't get those mixed up with other potions? Go on, drink up. No, it's actually not for me, I just... Wait, hold on. You don't have to set out any tea. I'm not staying for long. Huh? Oh, a glass of water should suffice then. No, really, it's not for... Oh! <laughs> she just poured it down my throat. Cough. Cough. Well? Huh? huh? I, uh, I, I don't feel anything. Not in a numb way, I hope. No symptoms of poison? What kind of potion did you give me? A successful one, it would seem. Are you feeling any smarter? Well, uh, I guess that's not exactly easy to gauge. Well, I'm still standing and breathing, so I suppose it should be safe to give to Sakia, I hope. Sakia? Yeah, she looked like she was having trouble, so I figured I'd look for a potion that could make someone smarter. Oh, that's a great idea for a new potion. Yep, not listening. Never listening. Oh, let me know if anything happens, would you? Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Well, that didn't help. Do I just go back to Sakia, or do I talk to someone else now? Oh. What's happening? My body feels really hot all of a sudden. Oh no! I turned into Sheep Friend. What's this? I transformed? I need to hurry up and change back into a human. Oh! Huh? Eep! It's fine, she knows my secret. Oh! Oh my goodness. Look how adorable you are. Ah, I can't get free. What's all the commotion over here? Hey. Oh, you monster! Yeah, and it's so cute! No, I'm not talking about that. You're the woolly that helped me the other day. Well, monsters are still monsters. Hurry up and get it out of here. Huh? What? No. What if something happened to a customer? Go on now. Scoop! Bah, you. Pia should know I'm the monster, though, because I did the other ones. Well, it didn't say the request is complete yet, so I guess I go see them. 
There you are, Mika. Why are you here, Marion? She said it was to make sure Sakia didn't take the medicine. Huh? What? Seems like it throws the balance of rune energy in your body out of whack. Granny said you should probably be fine taking it, but maybe not Sakia. <sighs> oh, that explains why I transformed. I see. And since Marion has no reason to lie... Uh-oh. I'd like to remind you that I specifically said you only had to sit back and watch this time. So I'm sure that medicine was for someone else, right? Right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, I definitely remember you saying it was for Marion. Shut up. Oh, so now you have a perfect memory. <laughs> Did he now? And why would that be? Hmm? I'm starting to see a little bit of her, uh, her mother in her now. <laughs> I can explain, Sakia. I don't see what the problem is. Oh. Mika did all that for your sake. You were the one who said not to rely on him so much. That was then. This is now. Are you serious? What the heck does that mean? <laughs> um, there's no need to... Mika? Hmm. Stay out of this. Sorry. Y yes, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. This feels like a good time for me to sing. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why that was so funny to me. This feels like a good time for me to sing. I'm gonna sing. That's just the type of person Pia is. When she gets that feeling, she just gotta sing. Huh? Why? Oh boy, they're at it again. I'm getting out of here. Huh? Probably the right call. I will too. Whew. The world's most terrifyingly kind innkeeper, a money-minded mercantile maven, is the most inscrutably airheaded bathhouse manager this side of a red balloon. Jesus, what's with all the big words, buddy? <laughs> I'm pretty sure they don't need stand-up to make themselves stand out. Request complete. Oh, okay, then. That worked out just fine, didn't it? <laughs> Big words because of intelli intelligencer. Oh, yeah, you're right. I did have the intelligencer, didn't I? Oh, boy. We had some fun events there today, didn't we? I think this is about a good time for me to wrap it up, though. Whoopsie. I think I'm gonna have to spend some time next next time I play this advancing the dungeon stuff to unlock more events, because I think I exhausted most of them. I'm gonna have to go all in with power grinding the, um... Uh, power grinding the cooking skill as well. Excellent. Perfect. Throw this stuff away. Make some quick extra cash for next time. Let me go up to my house and save. Yeah. I've been going for a bit today, and I'm going to be streaming again tomorrow, doing a, a long stream. Oopsie. Save again, because why not? What? I've never heard of that, friend. I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't think that's, uh, I have a dungeon to do right now. Anyways, I hope you are all had a good time with this today. Oof, I still need to beat the third boss. It bodied me last time. Anyhow, I hope you all have been enjoying this. I have, have been having a fun time with this game in the limited time I get to play it. It's good to pop on once in a while, do some long vods. I'm going to be back again tomorrow and then the day after, but I'm going to get some rest. I'm going to get today's vods edited. I uh, hope you all enjoyed. If you're watching on YouTube, have a good night and bye-bye.